Motorcycle, ATV registrations and transfers, plate renewals and more. They offer new PA and Maryland plates and West Virginia title applications. They serve Uniontown, Smithfield, Fairchance and all surrounding areas. Open weekdays 10 to 8.30, Saturdays from 9 to 5. Sandy Howell Notary Services, Dry Knob Road, Smithfield, 724-564-8955. Big enough to serve you, small enough to know you by name. Back here at Laurel Highlands High School, we welcome our audience on Breeze Line and Armstrong Cable. Brian Morozak along with Steve Superick and Tony Hanula. The high school football season getting underway tonight with the Laurel Highlands Mustangs hosting the Uniontown Red Raiders. Nice to have you along with us again this evening as well as the new high school football season starts here on WMBS, the South Union Township Sports Network, and of course on both Armstrong and Breeze Line Cable. And nice to have our friends back at the Trib Live High School Sports Network as well. And Steve Superk, weather-wise, you really couldn't ask for a better night to start the high school football season. Game time temperature around 75 degrees under bright, sunny skies. It's a pretty pretty good night. A little breeze coming through the press box, which is, uh, I know uh, we're all glad about that because it can get a little toasty in here sometimes in the early games. You actually set up a little fan over there for yourself. I got a as fan. Well. I haven't turned it on yet, but I'm getting ready to here in a little bit. I'm charging my phone right now, so I got <laughs> you know, only got one plug. You gave me one plug, so I'm all good. Yes, and really uh, the fans excited about this game. Place filling up tonight. When we were here two years ago, for Uniontown and Laurel Highlands. Of course, we had to endure a lightning delay and a big rainstorm. We don't have any of those problems tonight. Uh, you're not going to get any lightning tonight. I don't see a cloud out there, so it's pretty, pretty, pretty beautiful evening. And uh, sun setting to our left. And uh, should be a pretty good night for, for a high school football game. Our live video stream tonight, courtesy of Ford of Uniontown and Movement Physiotherapy. And also like to... Welcome back again this year, SWGI Specialists, now U.S. Digestive Health at Uniontown. They present our starting lineups, a different name for the same team, providing the same exceptional digestive care to our communities, wishing the best of luck to our Fayette County teams. Steve, take it away. Okay, starting with the offense from the uh, Laurel Highlands Mustangs. Uh, left tackle is number 70, Dante Lewis. Left guard is number 55, Jason Gardner. Mason Smith, number 53, is your center. Ben Glenn Denning is your right guard, number 58, and Zamir Green is your right tackle. He's number 76. Tight end is Tristan Baker. Wide receiver is Josh Reed. And Scotty McClay is your slot back. Antoine Back is your running back. And Noah Lyon will get the start at quarterback. He's a 6'1", 185-pound junior. On the defensive side of ball for the Mustangs, they go with a 3-5 look, and we have uh, Mason Smith as your left end. Nose guard is Ben Glendenning. Right defensive end is Jason Gardner. Linebackers from left to right are Noah Lyon, Mark Reed, number 33, Parker Hoff, number 18. He's a good one to watch. Jacob Johnson is the inside linebacker on the right side, and Tristan Baker, another good one. Uh, a, a pretty good player for the Mustangs. He's number 10 on the right side. Cornerbacks are Josh Reed, number 7, and Alafia Callaway, number 5. He's the right corner, and his free safety is Anton Black. For the Uniontown Red Raiders, offensively, left tackle is Gary Smitley. He's number 77. Leonard Tucker, number 68, is your left guard. Center is Cam Watkins. Chase Bromley, number 52, is your right guard. And Aiden Kiefer, the right tackle, he's number 74. Wide receivers are Winfrey and M M Kellen Milsom, he's number two. Fullback is Michael Thomas and Jameer Walker is your tailback. Quarterback is number 12. Watched him warm up. A left-hander, Brian, and a left southpaw, number 12, Cam Dugan. And Steve, Jamari Walker, actually the son of Arnold Walker, who was a 1,000-yard rusher at Union Tech. Yeah, that's uh, so you got some good bloodlines there. So we'll see how he does tonight for the Red Raiders. And defensively for the Red Raiders, Brumley is the left defensive end. Watkins is the defensive tackle. Smitley, the other side on the defensive tackle. Gary Smitley, number 77. A Aiden Kiefer is your defensive end. Linebackers are from... Left to right is uh, Wyatt Dean, David Renuti, Ranito, Ranito, and uh, Nathan Searock and Michael Thomas. Winfrey, Grooms, Walker, and Milsom are your defensive backs, and those are your starting lineups tonight. And we are getting ready for the ceremonial uh, 
coin toss. They do that before the game so the teams can know uh, who's going to be kicking off. They already know that, but they, they do this for the fans' sake, I guess. And Steve, one loss, a big loss for the Mustangs, who was a starter last year on the line, number 75, Josh Kelly. You could see the uh, full brace on his yeah. left leg. Don't like to see that. No, Kelly, yeah. a 5'11", 240-pound senior, uh, somebody who the Mustangs were expecting to really start on both sides of the football, obviously not available for tonight and don't know the status for Kelly the no, rest of the that, season, but certainly not looking good. That knee brace does not look like he's coming back uh, any time in the next couple of weeks, does it? No. <laughs> Unfortunately, I'm not a doctor. Don't pretend to be one, but that uh, he's hobbling around pretty good, so hopefully he'll uh, he'll get back and at least get a few games in this year, and they certainly need him. Well, the Mustangs have won the coin toss. They have deferred, so Laurel Highlands will defend the goal to our left. And they'll kick it away to the Uniontown Red Raiders. Head referee tonight, Tom Wasco. The umpire is Dave Costa. Head linesman is Chris Matthews. Larry Tomai is the line judge. Michael Clark is the side judge. And Tom Edwards is the field judge tonight on this opening week of the high school football season. And, Steve, certainly an early start, August 23rd. This is about the earliest we've started high school football season in quite some time. I'll tell you what, it still feels like baseball season. And all of a sudden we're starting football games. But, uh... Hey, the uh, college games, I think there's one game this weekend, right? Yeah, Florida State, Georgia Tech tomorrow, yeah. a couple of others that aren't Isn't that game over profile. in like Ireland or something? Correct. Yes, and then uh, the next weekend, I uh, know the full slate uh, starts off, and uh, of course the Steelers uh, don't start till the 8th, right? Is it the 8th of September? Correct. Yes. So, but then they get a, I guess they get a week off after their last preseason game. Yeah, Tanner Bruised to send it away. Number change on Bruised, Steve. We had him as 22 on our roster, wearing number 8 tonight. So he'll send it away, and you have back deep for the Uniontown Red Raiders. The deep man is Tory Grooms, number 28, back there all alone on the Red Raiders' five-yard line again. Uniontown working right to left as we describe it here in the opening quarter. So bruised up, set for the run up in the 2024 high school football season is underway, and a little squib kick down the field was juggled, and then regaining there for Uniontown was Jamari Walker, and Walker able to take it just shy of the 30-yard line on the far side, and that's where Uniontown will start. First and 10, again led by sophomore quarterback Cam Dugan. He's 5'9", 150 pounds. Saw some time, though, Steve, last year as a freshman, so he's been through some of these battles before. Yep. Well, he'll need to call on that uh, those memories, and the more reps you get, the, the better you get, more comfortable, and the game slows down for you, so let's see how he does start out. You have Winfrey split out to the near side, Kellum Milsom to the far side. And Dugan's going to line up here under center. Expect to see the Red Raiders keep it on the ground a lot tonight, Steve. And almost lining up here in a little option attack with a couple of wing backs and a fullback. Mustang showing blitz and an early encroachment call here on Parker Hoff coming across the line and a free five yards for Uniontown. Hoff's excited. Now he's, he's claiming that uh, the, the Red Raiders move, but the officials aren't buying that. And you can't, in high school football, you cannot cross that line Correct. and get back like you can you see in college or uh, in the pros. You have Michael Thomas as the fullback lined up there behind Dugan. This kind of reminds me of some of the offenses we saw under the John Fortuna days here at Uniontown back in the day. A lot of wing T and option look and a little pitch to the far side. That one going to Walker and Walker a little cut back and a good gain there. Picking up five, maybe six. Should have enough here for Uniontown first down across the 40-yard line. Good run there from Walker. Yeah. The old uh, coach Fortuna did a heck of a job for a long time here, here for the Red Raiders. And we've got an injury, Brian, number five for the Mustangs. And that's is Alafia Callaway. Yeah. They call him Jay, and he's down. So an early timeout. Injury timeout brought to you by the UPMC Rehab Institute. Physical therapist Jim Burns on Wayland Smith Drive. Phone 724-437-7500. The UPMC Rehabilitation Institute relief is closer than you think. You think we'll take a quick 30-second timeout here on WMBS. I'm George Hockratte, a proud veteran and proud to support the athletes, coaches, and staff of Uniontown and Laurel Highlands High School football. And I hope everybody has a safe and successful season. I'm George Hockratte, Democratic candidate for the Pennsylvania 51st Legislative District. I'm asking for your support in November's election, and I approve this message. Paid for by the committee to elect George Hockratte. Good to see Callaway walk off the field under his own power. So the Red Raiders set after that 
first down run, a five-yard gain on the first and five, moving the sticks there for Walker in Uniontown. And now an inside run, that one going to the fullback Michael Thomas. And Thomas, a yard maybe two up to the 42-yard line. And that'll bring up second down and eight. So this Uniontown program, four and six last year. They went five and five in 2022, and that was the first time they were 500 or better since 09 when they won a WPIL playoff game over Bell Vernon. Looks like Callaway's okay. He's trying to jog it off. Maybe just uh, they had him drink about a half a bottle of Gatorade or probably well, they fill those things mostly with water, but uh, maybe it was just a cramping situation. Early in the season, warm night, could could see a few cramps tonight. Second and eight, opening drive of the game for Uniontown. This is Notorious Grooms, and Grooms on the far side, right out of bounds close to midfield and close to another Uniontown first down here, depending on the spot. Grooms, who picked up a basketball offer well, this they, past they week. not give him a good spot. From West Virginia, Wesleyan with a little momentum there. He needed eight, only got seven at the Uniontown 49-yard line. So it'll be third down and one. Antoine Black ran him out of bounds on the far side. Let's see where, where Gladman over there helping out. He's, uh, I don't know if he's coaching or if he's just kind of there to support the team, but he's... Uh, over there roaming the sidelines. Oh, he's actually one of the Uniontown Junior High coaches along with our own Billy Dice who's behind the camera for us uh, today. And now a lot of movement on the line. We'll see which way this is going to go. This Mustang one could go either way. Start. It looked like Walker was going a little forward too early. But then all the Mustangs kind of came across, several of them. Let's we'll see what they call. Fisher still gonna, sorting gonna it out. Go. He's going to go. Offsides. Yeah. So twice on this opening drive, Laurel Highlands jumping early, an early encroachment call there on Parker Hoff. And that one you had a couple of Mustangs coming across yeah, the line. Yeah, you can't, can't just call Hoff on that one. I think there was three or four Mustangs that jumped early. So you need town a first down here, the Laurel Highlands 46, opening drive of the game, working right to left as we describe it, back to the fullback, Michael Thomas, and Thomas keeping those legs turning down to the 42, pick up a four to bring up second down and six, and Thomas, a 5'11", 200-pound sophomore, a lot of sophomores in this Uniontown starting lineup tonight, Steve. Yep, a lot of young kids, and... Uh, at this rate, Brian, if the Red Raiders continue to rush the football the way they want to rush it, uh, they might have a quick, quick game as far as time goes because the uh, the clock's going to keep moving. They're having th it even look like they're going to attempt to pass. Played almost two minutes so far, approaching the 10-minute mark of this opening quarter. An inside run this time of Nathan Searock, and Searock may be getting a yard down to the 40. They'll bring up third down and four. Somebody lost the helmet. Now well, that was Searock lost his hat. He's going to have to come out of the game for a play. And Uniontown probably, Steve, a little more depth than Laurel Highlands this year. I know it's unusually mentioned. Only about 38 players on the Mustang varsity roster. Uniontown's numbers pushing 50 again this season. Third and four now well, for Uniontown. Line of scrimmage, the Laurel Highlands 40-yard well, line. Ball the, just inside the far hash mark. The way they've looked so far offensively, running the football, you got to figure... They're going to run it again here. they got to figure it's two down territory inside the, well, if they, they're right on the 40. but Yeah, I don't think you're going to punt in this situation. And now oh, Dugan, a maybe off. a broken play there, trying to scramble on the far side and brought down for a two-yard loss yeah. back at the 42-yard line. Good pursuit there from Trowell to bring him down for Laurel Highlands defensively. And now you're coming up here on fourth down, fourth maybe five and six here on the Uniontown side. So decision time for head coach Keith Jeffries. Well, they're going to. They're lining up in punt formation. They are. Sea Rock's yeah. the punter. We've said it for years. The dangerous, uh, dangerous is punting in high school football. Dugan, well, though, is the up man. He's going to get it. It's going to be a little quick kick over the Mustang secondary. Antoine Black, though, is going to pick it up and try to turn back here on the near side and look out. He has some running room, has the 25-30, and Black is loose. Black trying to take this punt back for a touchdown. Uh. A cut back in the 30 and got brought down right at the 29-yard line by Uniontown's Cam Dugan. So Dugan brought him down. Malaro Highlands no will flags. start with a first and 10 from the Uniontown 29 when we come back in 30 seconds. Scoreless game, 833 left here in the opening quarter on the CR Prada Group High School Sports Night. Uniontown Detailing offers an all-inclusive auto care experience. Services include full auto detailing, professional ceramic coatings, window tinting, undercoating, paintless dent repair, and more. 
Uniontown Detailing has moved to a new location on 255 South Mount Vernon Avenue in Uniontown. Stop by and check them out today. Best of luck this season to all local teams from Uniontown Detailing. That was a 62-yard punt return I'll tell you what from happened. Antoine Black. What happened there, Brian? The Red Raiders lined up like they were going to go for it, and they've dropped the quarterback back a little bit. They snapped it to him, and he punted, so it was like kind of a fake fake punt or a fake run and a punt. But the problem with that, you have all your big guys at, on the line. So you had all your big guys running down, and they're going to have a hard time tackling uh, anyone, let alone Antoine Black in the uh, open field. So they, he had a lot of a lot of spots to run. He only had a couple of uh, skilled players, if you will, guys that would normally be on a punt team. You usually see teams put uh, a bunch of defensive backs and linebackers on the punt team so they can go down there and cover and make a tackle. Had a flag throw that was picked up. So it'll be first and ten here for Laurel Highlands. Line of scrimmage, the Uniontown 28-yard line. First time we've seen the Mustang offense touch the football in this game. We have 8-33 left in the opening quarter scoreless between Laurel Highlands and Uniontown. And now you have Noah Lyon out of the shotgun. Black coming in motion, fakes the handoff, and Lyon's going to keep it himself with running room. Lyon inside the 15, inside the 10, and Noah Lyon, a 28-yard touchdown run for Laurel Highlands on the Mustangs' first play from scrimmage. Well, that was uh, made that look pretty easy. A good faked it to Black going across the formation, and everybody went that way. And nobody was there. Noah Lyon had a, a host of blockers, and they had they didn't even have anyone to block. That's how open that was. Score occurring here at the 8:24 mark of the opening quarter. Tony and I could have ran that one. Yes, there, Brian. that was <laughs> <laughs> plenty of running room. Now bruised on for the extra point, low snap, put down, kick up on the way, and good. And Laurel Highlands a seven nothing lead over Uniontown after a 28 yard. Touchdown run from Noah Lyon, just a one play, 28 yard drive that took six seconds off the clock. And that drive summary here on WMBS being brought to you by our friends this year at Bartok Lawn Care Championship level oh. ones at Bartok Lawn Care. Seven nothing Mustangs over the Red Raiders. We're back at 60 on the CR Product Group, High School Sports Night. Good times and good food. It's all at Potter's Bar and Grill on Morgantown Street in Uniontown, family owned and operated. Potter's has been a staple in the Uniontown community since 1950. So get out of the house and make your next night out at Potter's Bar and Grill on Morgantown Street in Uniontown. Call them up at 724-438-9835. That's 724-438-9835. Or visit Potter's on Facebook. We'll see you at Potter's. Colaguard and other stool or blood screening tests detect cancer, but only colonoscopy can actually prevent colon cancer via detecting and removing precancerous polyps. Having a 30-minute painless colonoscopy every 10 years beginning at age 45 could save your life. Call U.S. Digestive Health at 724-437-7677. Bruised it a kick off, and Tory Grooms will let it go, we'll head into the end zone for a touchback. And Uniontown will start first and ten from their own 20 yard line. With Tony Anula keeping stats. Tony, anything standing out to you so far in this game? No, pretty nice run though, right there by Lyon. That Lyon really did a nice job opening a hole for him, and he was able to scamper in from 28 yards untouched. And we have Billy Dice behind the camera, Steve Super alongside of Brian Morozak, Nick Barczyk back inside our Davis and Davis Attorneys at Law Studios. Nice to have you along with us for another Friday night as we kick off the 2024 high school football season. We'll have a pair of games for you next week. Tony and I will head to Ambridge for the Laurel Highlands game against the Ambridge Bridgers, both on the radio and on Facebook. And TJ DeStefano and Gary Frankhouse will have the Hall of Fame game for Uniontown as the host. Perry Traditional Academy, both games next week, will kick off at 7 o'clock. So the Red Raiders, Steve, actually picked up a couple of first downs on that opening drive. We'll go back to work with a fullback handoff there to Michael Thomas, and Thomas just plunging forward there for a yard to bring up second down and nine. Yeah, that play got off to a funny start. It looked like the line didn't move. The ball was snapped, but nobody moved for about a half a second or so, which uh, doesn't sound like a long time, but that's an eternity when you're running. Your fullback's going up the middle. And uh, if your linemen aren't moving, it's uh, that's tough. And one thing, Brian, I wanted to say this uh, this Tanner Bruzda 
I was watching. I got here. You know, we get here early before the game, and I was watching him kick in warm-ups. And he's got a strong leg, and, and the Mustangs have had a, a very big tradition of kickers over the last few years. And he is uh, another one that I don't know if they got him from the soccer team, but he's pretty darn good. A broken play here, and Dugan trying to make something out of nothing. Just gets back to the line of scrimmage. That'll bring up third down and nine. Bruce is a member of the Florida Highland soccer program. They'll have their home opener coming up on Tuesday against Thomas Jefferson. And Thomas Jefferson actually coming into the season. Triple I've had him as the number one soccer program in 3A. So they're not only good at football, they're good at soccer too. And that could be a tough matchup for Laurel Highlands to open up the soccer season. But that game will be on the South Union Township Sports Network on Tuesday night as well. You never get away from TJ, Steve, no matter what the sport is, right? No. That's uh, they're always that's solid. Spent a lot of time up there. Now my son uh, moved up there. He lives about a mile from the stadium. So I'm sure he's uh, going to follow the uh, TJ team. And there's a flag coming up. Must be a delay of game. Do we have the play clocks working? We do. Oh, no. Time out. Time out taken by uh, maybe. Town. So we'll take one as well. 6.52 left here in the opening quarter. 7 nothing. Mustangs over the Red Raiders. We're back in 60 on the CR Brana Group High School Sports Night. This is attorney Michael Mays of the Davis and Davis Law Firm. We have been helping injured people just like you recover millions of dollars for over 45 years. If you're hurt or injured, I want to meet you and make sure you get the money that you deserve. Call me at 724-437-2799 for your free consultation. The Davis and Davis Law Firm has been protecting our neighbors in Green and Fayette counties for over 45 years. Go to davisanddavislaw.com or call 724-437-2799 for your free consultation. You know, summer fun can be quite rough on your lawn. What with all the brown patches, stubborn weeds and such. And taking care of all that is enough to make you feel defeated, doesn't it? Well, don't worry, because Bartok Lawn Care is here to help. Offering custom blended fertilization and weed control programs to revive your tired lawn. Also running incredible fall aeration and overseeding specials for new and existing customers. And they're locally owned and operated. Contact Jared at 724-366-3303 or visit BartokLawnCare.com. Third and nine now upcoming for Uniontown after the timeout. Dugan back under center. Thomas is the fullback. A wing back on each side. Receivers split out as well as Grooms comes in motion. Backside pressure coming and sacked and fumbling. I think he the was football down. there was Dugan. They're going to rule him down. Yeah. Yet Parker Hoff pick up the football. He had a dead run into the end zone for a scoop and score. Well, and the play the whistled down back at the 13-yard line. I had a pretty good look at that one, Brian. It looked like he definitely was hit and the ball came loose after he hit the ground so pretty darn good call by the official who was actually behind him so i don't know if he could see that the way it came out if it would have came out early he probably would have called it a down anyway because he had a no he had no view of that but uh that was lying on the sack by the yeah. way as well to give him props there with the backside pressure i don't know if dugan saw him coming there at all steve no now Searock to punt it away. It's the fourth Red and Raiders 16. Have a late substitution. I, I'm actually a man in motion on the snap. As it's set away to Antoine Black, who's going to let it go. It actually takes a Mustang bounce. Uniontown will down it here at the Uniontown 41-yard line. So Laurel Highland set up with good field position again. 5.52 left here in the opening quarter. 7-0 Mustangs. We're back at 30 here on the CR Prana Group High School Sports Night. Just as your local State Farm agent combines good neighbor service with surprisingly great rates, you can combine your home and auto. And guess what you'll get? That's right, good neighbor service with surprisingly great rates. In fact, State Farm agent Lauren Yeoman is your go-to agent in Uniontown for the service you deserve at the price you want. So try to combine home and auto today. State Farm agent Lauren Yeoman will help you mix and match things perfectly. Call 724-592-6308 for your surprisingly great rate. Like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. Second straight drive, the Laurel Highlands has started here in Uniontown territory. They scored only one play on the last possession, and this time Noah Lyon calling his own number will search four down to the 38, pick up a four to bring up second down and six. The Mustangs have to have a lot of confidence here early on, Steve. Uh, they got to be feeling pretty good about it. And uh, Red Raiders actually moved the ball on their first drive, but that last uh, drive stalled. They didn't get much action, but at least they got a pretty decent punt off and uh, no, not much of a re no return. So we'll see if the Red Raiders can do something defensively here. Second and six now for Laurel Highlands. And you have Lyon back out of the shotgun. Gio Guerriere off to his right, triple left formation. And Lyon now takes the snap, a little pump fake. 
flushed out of the pocket on the far side. He's in trouble trying to get out of it. And now hitting the backfield and dropped to the 43-yard line for a loss of four on the play. He was trying to pump fake it over there to Black, and then he had a receiver. I believe that's number 20, number 19 going down the sideline there. Scotty McLean. Yeah, he was trying to beat the receiver deep, but there was pretty good coverage by the Red Raiders. I think that's Walker over there. So now third and 11 for Laurel Highlands. Line of scrimmage, the Uniontown 43 ball on the far hash mark. 432 left here in this opening quarter. Laurel Highlands a 7-0 lead over Uniontown on a 28-yard touchdown run from Noah Lyon. The Mustangs work to do here on this third and 11 as Lyon takes the snap. Now rolling out to the near side. Well, throws on the man. run, lobs it. Him. And it's overthrown, as Steve said, intended there for Antoine oh, Black, who actually beat his man on the play. Yeah. But the pass just not there, and it'll bring up fourth down and 11. Let's see what they do here. I think uh, for Black. Of course it's your defense and is playing well. How aggressive do you get? And bring Parker Hoffman. I'm going to guess they're going to punt but just because the defense is playing so well. They figure you roll it down there and inside the 20 and you get yourself a, a ball back with a first down. But uh, they can't tell if they've put a punter out there or not. A bruised up is the punter on the well, Laurel Island side. Not out there. Eight. He's not there. So the Mustangs rolling the dice. It's fourth and 11. And the Union Town 43, and Lyon's going to take the snap. They're coming after him. He's going to step up, pull it down, look to run down the far Maybe side. He'll get hit and dropped at the 35-yard line. Needed 11, got eight. So the Red Raiders will take over on downs with 4.09 left here in the opening quarter. It's 7-0 Mustangs over the Red Raiders. We're back in 30 here on the CR Prada Group High School Sports Night. McClure and Wolf, certified public accountants. Your full-service accounting firm serving the tri-state area since 1926 is conveniently located at 538 Morgantown Street in Uniontown. Offering tax, accounting, auditing, payroll, management advisory, and estate planning services, McClure and Wolf is recognized as an industry leader in providing their clients with quality professional services. To find out more about their services, visit them online at www.mcclurewolfcpas.com or give them a call at 724-437-2000 for McClure and Wolf, certified public accountants. Uniontown now taking over on downs from their own 35-yard line after the Mustangs failed to convert on a fourth and 11. And now Cam Dugan, the sophomore quarterback for Uniontown, back under center. The Red Raiders sticking with that formation they've gone with early on in this game. And a handoff here to Torrey Grooms. And Torrey trying to come around the far side, maybe getting a half yard there for Uniontown. Bring up second down and a long nine as we go under four minutes left here in the opening quarter. Laura Highlands leading seven to nothing on a Noah Lyon 28-yard touchdown run. I'll call this second and a long nine. Line of scrimmage, the Uniontown 36-yard line on the far hash mark. Laura Highlands coming off a two and eight season last year. Uniontown was four and six. Mustangs lost their regular season finale last year to Connellsville. Uniontown actually had a couple of wins to end the 2023 campaign. So second and a long nine. And now Flag. flags come in here as Dugan took the snap and was trying to go in Tamari Walker's direction. A false starter, illegal formation, but uh, they blew it dead. Wait for the Looking out there at that, signal that now. turf, Brian. It looks so nice and clean. Almost oh, looks like a... A lawn done by Bartok Lawn Care, yes. doesn't it? Yes, after welcoming them aboard, one of our sponsors for high school football again this season. Of course, they put this new turf in, what, Steve, two or three years ago, and it's, it's the second one well. they had, right? Correct, the second, yes. yeah. Still well, I tell you, these, I mean, what an investment. Uh, look at all the games they could play, soccer, the little kids can play, JV games, they could practice on it, and uh, it just uh, makes life a lot easier. I still miss those old school games, though, on a grass field in the rain. You don't see those too often <laughs> around the WPI. We had one at Frazier years back, I know, that was in a monsoon. Now second and 15 after the penalty. Pitch going back here to Walker. And Walker Fumble. lost the football. I think the Mustangs are on it here at the 27-yard line, waiting for the official signal. Mustangs say they have it, and Laurel Highlands does have the football. That was Parker Hoff out of the pack with it there for Laurel Highlands. The Mustangs take over again with 2.53 left here in the opening quarter. And once again, Steve Laurel Highlands taking over here in Uniontown territory. Yeah, that play was due from the start. Walker had no running room at all. He should have shut it down and just uh, 
tried to get a yard or two, but he was fighting for extra yardage, and that ball got popped out of there. I was a little bit surprised they went back to the same play as they were going to call there before the penalty because the Mustangs might have saw that one coming as well as they were all over. Walker in the backfield there to force the fumble. And now Laurel Highlands leading 7-0, taking over here at the Uniontown 27-yard line. Lying back out of the shotgun, setting Black in motion. He'll get it here in the little pitch pass coming far side. Black trying to cut up the field with a flag on the play. He's brought down at the 25-yard line. If it stands, it's a gain of two. We'll check the penalty. That's a block below the waist there by the, one of the receivers. I think it was number 14. Penalty flag on the play. Gary Air. So, yep. You call that one, Steve. Yeah, that's a, a familiar name for the Mustang fans, right? He's been, uh, he's had some, I wonder if those are his brothers that played over the those years. Those are Uniontown, though. Yeah, yeah, that, Gary, yeah you're right. Gary Air played over yeah. Uniontown. Pretty good football and basketball player. That's Nathan's uh, mother played back in the day for Geibel on their teams that's that had deep runs in the WPIL penalty, so. and state playoffs. Let's we'll see if uh, Coach Colesar lets uh, Noah Lyon air it out a little bit. He had he had Black wide open. He just overthrew him a couple couple on the last drive. It's first and 20 now from the Uniontown 37, and they'll go back to the ground game here with Parker Hoff, who breaks a couple of tackles. Look yeah. out here, and Hoff's going to have the first down as he'll get brought down right around the 15-yard line, gain of 22 yeah. on the run there for Parker Hoff. And you got Parker Hoff running for 22. You don't need to throw, do no. you? Hoff, a 6-foot, 210-pound senior, carried the football for 243 yards last year and a couple of rushing touchdowns. Also had nine receptions for 60 yards. The Mustangs used him a lot as a Wildcat quarterback. Now Laurel Highlands a first and 10 here at the uh, Uniontown 15 yard line. He's an athlete back there. Good good uh, defensive player. Well, obviously a good runner. So line out of the shotgun. Protector back off to his left. Double tights on the line. Wide out to each side. It's an inside handoff going to Antoine Black. And Black able to get down to the 11 yard line. Pick up a four on the play. Bring up second down and six as we go under two minutes left here in the opening quarter. Laura Highlands a 7 nothing lead over Union Tech. Stop by Ranitou. Ranitou, the tackle hey. defensively there for Union Tech. How are you guys doing over there? Is it warm over there on, that, on your side of the booth? Oh, us? Yeah. Oh, we're comfortable. Okay. I Tony my, and I here. I got, my, off to my I got my little fan blowing on me. It feels yes. pretty nice. And we're comfortable. Not too hot, not too cold. A second and six. Now you have Lyon repositioning Black off to his left. Twin receivers to the far side. As Lyon takes the snap, fakes the hand, up, going to call his own number. Has a block, turns the corner, and should have enough there for a Mustang first down. Depends down to the five-yard line. Be really close. Needed six. I think he got just about that. Yep, and the official done. signal, first down. A couple of our friends down there on the fence as well. Dr. Bob Baker, Dr. William Ainsley as well. Nice to see them out of the game here this evening. Yeah, football season's funny. We start out these games and it's hot, humid usually. And uh, we're wearing shorts and just golf shirts. And then at the end of the season, we got on parkas and heaters. Yes. Remember a couple years ago, Billy froze up on the press box at Beaver Ooh, yes, for that, that playoff was, game. That was cold. Down to 58 seconds left here in this opening quarter. First and 10 for Laurel Highlands. Lyon now under center, sending Black in motion, but Hoff, the fullback's going to get the carry. He's going nowhere. Uniontown read that well defensively, just ran into that Red Raider defensive line. Cam Watkins, Gary yeah. Smitley. Uniontown, good size, Steve, on the interior of that line, both Watkins and Smitley, 300-pound linemen. Stop by a host of Red Raiders. Going to get one more play before the quarter. 26 seconds on the play clock, 30 on the game clock, so they're going to have to snap it one more time. A second and goal actually ruled out a loss of one on the play. Yeah. Guess. Line of scrimmage back to the six-yard line. Line's going to stay under center down to 17 seconds left here in the quarter. Back's now offset behind him, and Black's going to get it on the pitch. He'll cut up the field. And he'll get tripped up just inside the five-yard line. Finally brought down there by Uniontown's Jamari Walker. That will be the final play of this opening quarter. The Mustangs threatening up 7 to nothing over Union 10. We're back for the second quarter in 60 here in the CR Prada Group. High School Sports Night. The CR 
Harbor Auto Group is bringing service to your door with the exclusive Sea Harbor Service Valet. Just call to schedule your next service appointment and we'll come pick up your car and drop it off after the work is finished. We'll even wash it for you. Call us today at 724-930-7766 to schedule your next appointment. Pick up and delivery with White Glove Service. Never wait in a service lounge again. Call us today at 724-930-7766. It's just that easy. You can go to Big Box Medical Office. Now serving number 3,943. Or... Hi, come on in. How are you? When you see doctors Paul Hartley and Mary Beth Riley, plus nurse practitioners Tara Bozak, Jessica Reckhardt, and Stacey Morris, you get one-on-one personal professional health care serving the area for over three decades. If you're looking for a primary care doctor, call doctors Hartley and Riley at 724-437-1109 or online at ppcp.org. Or... Serving number 3,944. Prime Rosak, Steve Super, and Tony Hanola back here at Laurel Highlands High School, Mustang Field. Billy Dice behind the camera on our Facebook Live video feed. Nick Barchick back inside our Davis and Davis Attorneys at Law Studios. And guys, I think for a moment there, the officials even forgot they changed sides here in between quarters. Everybody was still down to the right yeah. before they realized, hey, we have to go down to the left. First game. It's like preseason, but it's... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> got to go the other way. Yeah, you got to remember these, uh, you know... When they have scrimmages, they usually just play, you know, 10 plays, 10 plays, and they, you know, it's a little different. I don't know if they have the clock running like they do and, you know, do A little looser. Yeah. And depending on what the... Coaches are on the field. Yeah, right? style of the scrimmages. Some of them use the clock. Some of them don't. Just kind of depends on what they want to do. But here, the Mustangs now working right to left as we describe it. Trying to punch this in. That's a flag. And it's going to be a flag. Goal. They had too many. Yes. That's not good. They had too many guys in the huddle after a quarter change. So it was uh, one of the one of the Mustangs come running off the field late after they broke the well. They didn't break the huddle, but they had all their guys out there. Breaking the huddle with one. Yeah, that's certainly one of the things that will occur here early on in the season. Scotty McAlay, one of the late substitutions, coming off there. On the Laurel Highland side, so you don't third know and goal at the six now becomes a third and goal at the 11 yard line. And sometimes with all these guys coming in and out, you don't know if it was his fault or somebody else. Yeah, not blaming yeah, him. Yeah, just, yeah. He was the guy that just kind of came off the field and Correct. had to come off the field in that situation. So now third and goal from the 11 as Black comes in motion. Fake handoff there from Lyon again looking for the run on the right side. And he gets back close to the five yard line. So pick up a five, maybe goal. six. And Bruce, do we mention a good leg, Steve? He's going to have an opportunity to try oh, it out here. Chip shot. He this was will be coming a, from the hash mark, though. Yeah, he was. Yeah, tough angle, especially close like that. The ball's up on the five-yard line, so that's a really difficult angle. But he was kicking him from the 45, 50 yarders in warm-ups, and he was uh, hitting some pretty good. Uh, of course, no rush. The ball was uh, placed on the ground with nobody around him. So it'll be a 22-yard attempt from the far hash mark. To make this a two-possession game and put the Mustangs up 10 to nothing. Clean snap coming back, bruised a line drive, kick it's through and good. So a 10-0 lead for Laurel Highlands over Uniontown. 11-15 left before halftime. We're back in 60 on the CR Prada Group High School Sports Night. Hi, it's attorney Rob Harper from Radcliffe Martin Law. As some of you may know, I served as a public defender for three years and an assistant district attorney for seven years right here in Fayette County. I'm now using that experience to represent people accused of crimes. So if you find yourself in that unfortunate situation and need someone who knows how things are done on both sides of the courtroom, give me a call and see if we can put my expertise to work for you. Radcliffe Martin Law, 724-439-3939. Chiropractors treat a myriad of issues from general back and neck pain to whiplash, injuries from auto accidents, workers' comp, sports-related injuries, migraines, and more. Your trusted local chiropractor of choice is Dr. Baker. Dr. Baker is ready to help you get back to the joy of living. Visit Baker Chiropractic and Wellness Center at 205 Easy Street in Uniontown or call 724-437-3288 to schedule an appointment today. Dr. Baker, wishing all high school football teams a safe and successful season. Tanner bruised it a kick off after his 22-yard field goal, putting Laurel Highlands on top 10 to nothing over Uniontown. A little onside action here on the far side, but Uniontown recovering here at the 43-yard line. A little bit of a late hit there as well, and it will draw a flag. So Uniontown should be able to take over here inside Laurel Highlands territory, though. 
Field goal capped off yeah. a six-play, 22-yard drive for Laurel Highlands. It took 337 oh, off the go, clock. Man. That drive summary brought to you by Bartok Lawn Care, the experts in lawn care. Well, that was uh, just a, a bad mental mistake by the Mustangs here. Once a, a guy, a Uniontown player, recovered the onside kick on his knees, so you know he can't get up and run with it. There's no reason to go in there and hit him. And uh, that's, that's going to uh, cost fourth penalty yards. already. I'm sorry, fifth penalty already on the Mustangs for 40 yards. Not good to see here early on in the season. And you need to have a first and 10 here at the Laurel Highlands 43 yard line. And they'll get a break field position wise. Well, the way the Red Raiders offense has been so far, it's just a kind of a grinded out uh, kind of option attack. Almost looks like you're watching Navy. They're going to have Dugan here out of the shotgun, Steve, just as you say that. And it will be an inside yeah. run going nowhere, though, to the fullback, Michael Thomas. That'll go as a four, maybe five-yard loss on the play to bring up second down and 14. You almost got to let the kid throw it down the field once in a while just to just to keep the linebackers and the defensive backs from crashing in on right. every play. Even if he just overthrows somebody and, you know, take a shot down the field. But, you know, the, the, the Mustang defenders are just teeing off because they just haven't had any threat to the one pass that they were going to throw. He got sacked and fumbled. Only one is a loss of two on the play game. A little bit of forward progress there. So second and 12. Again. Line of scrimmage now. The Laurel Highlands 45-yard line. Dugan staying out of the shotgun. Twin receivers to each side. Let's see if he puts it up here with the Mustang showing blitz. Dugan yeah. scrambling to the far side. And a little fling pass that's juggled and dropped right along the far sidelines there by Tory Grooms. And I'll bring up third down and 12. Don't know if he would have been inbounds when he caught it, but uh, either way... It was dropped. So now third and 12. Our game also on the South Union Township Sports Network tonight. Brought to you there by Smith Lewis, Jess CPAs in Uniontown, Davis and Davis Attorneys at Law, the Sprouse Insurance Group, insurance agent David Hughes, SWGI Specialist, now part of U.S. Digestive Health, the UPMC Rehabilitation Institute, United Bank, and South yeah. Union Township Supervisors, Bob Schiffbauer, Rick Vernon, and Jason Scott. I'll tell you what's happening here. It was third and 12. Or second and twelve, the incomplete pass, and all of a sudden the guy with the stick over there put the ball, put the stick back on the yard marker to make it third and yeah, ten. Yeah, should so be back at the forty-five. Yeah, I don't know if he was. Uh, he's got a red uh, Laurel Highlands jersey on. He shouldn't be. Uh, you know, if he's going to fudge it a little bit, he's uh, going the wrong way. I think it's just early in the season. Yeah, <laughs> seeing mistakes from both sides and even the officials from time to time. Yeah, you'll have that here in a week well, zero matchup. I think the Laurel Highland sideline noticed it. A third and 12, and it'll be a little uh -oh. jet sweep pitch pass going there to Tory Grooms, and he's going to lose five, maybe six on the play back right around midfield. So Union Town got a big field position break there. Steve just couldn't take advantage of it, and now Grooms a little slow in getting up. Yeah, he is uh, stretching out. That will bring up the fourth down. Loosening up seems yeah. all right. Just took a shot there, and now we'll get a – Another look at the Red Raiders special teams. Uh, Nathan Searock, the punter. Again, dangerous, dangerous punting in high school football. Anything can and usually does happen. You have people coming in the game that aren't in the game most of the time or, you know, substitutions. Searock back at the 35. Antoine Black back at the Laurel Highlands 22. Low snap coming back to Searock. Did a good job to corral it in and send it away. Nice, nice punt there, sending Antoine back to the 16-yard line. A little shake and bait coming forward. Tried a little stiff arm. They got brought down to the 21-yard line. Flag Black. on the play. I would not be surprised, Steve. This is an offensive face mask there against Black. Yep. Because he initiated the stiff arm. It almost like his hand kind of got caught in one of the Red Raider defenders' masks. And good to give the Red Raiders credit. They did a Good job with the punt. A good snap by the snapper. A good punt. And good cover. Oh, they actually called that on the Red Raiders. Wow. That's surprising because I thought, you know, at least from our perspective, and granted, probably a couple hundred feet away. Yeah. I didn't see it. There was a little bit of traffic there, but I saw the stiff arm. But the They called the face mask there on Union Town. Yeah. Wow. So a free 15. Here for Laurel Highlands, put the football on the Mustang 36-yard line with 9.24 left before halftime, and Laurel Highlands up 10-0 over Union Tech. Brian Morozak along with Steve Super, and Tony Hanola, Billy Dice behind the camera on our Facebook Live video feed. 
Nick Barczyk back at center. Davis and Davis attorneys to Law Studios. So line out of the shotgun. Protector back to his left. It's Gio Guerriere and twin receivers to each side as line takes the snap. He'll look for a quick out pass intercepted. Picked off on a sliding pick from Nathan Searock. Now Searock read that well. And it was a little slot receiver. That was Black kind of settling in the slot. And, and Lyon did not see Searock coming. And Searock, he's lucky. Uh, the, red, or the, you, the Mustangs are fortunate that Searock dove to the ground to catch it. If he could keep his feet, he would have walked into the end zone. Yeah, it could have been six going the other way. Full, yeah, he had a full head of steam, but he felt like he had to slide to make the catch. But he could have, if he catches that uh, standing or running in there, he might have scored. So another break for the Union Town offense. We'll start this drive at the Laurel Highlands 39-yard line. Let's see if they can take advantage as Cam Dugan and company Looks like hit we got the field a again. A couple of lights out over there. You see that on, yes. the, on the far pole to the right? I'm sure they'll probably try to get to that in the next week before the next home game here in two weeks. Of course, they'll be using it for some soccer games as well. In the short term here at Laurel Highlands. So Dugan has his troops repositioned. Twin receivers to each side. He's going to look to put it up again. Rolls to the far side. Throws on the run. Into single coverage. And the pass is juggled and caught for a touchdown by Calvin Winfrey. Wow. Uh, Antoine Black jumped in front of it and just whiffed. And the ball went through. The receiver caught it, juggled it, and went in. So Dugan to Winfrey on a 39-yard touchdown pass. Has the Red Raiders back to within four, 10-6. Here at the 9-11 mark of the second quarter. We'll see if the Red Raiders are going to kick here, if they're going to go for two. It looks like they're going to kick. Z-Rock coming over to hold. Now Ranito, a pretty solid kicker as well. <coughs> and now an opportunity for Uniontown to get back to within three of Laurel Highlands. Can we mention it's been since the... 2016 season that Union Towns knocked off the Mustangs and Laurel Island's been pretty dominant the last couple of years, especially in these early season matchups. Well, think about how Town. a game can change. What are they, the officials are discussing something? Just a one play, 39 yard drive that took just six seconds off the clock. Again, that drive summary brought to you by Bartok Lawn Care, Lawn Care done right. Maybe a penalty here after the touchdown. Not sure. I didn't see anything. Officials still sorting it out. He's coming over talking to Coach Coulter. They're going to leave the ball on the three-yard line. Yeah, I never saw a flag thrown on the play. Oh, boy. That's, uh, that just shows you how a game can turn on a couple plays, right? So the Mustangs get a, uh, a face mask call, move the ball up, and, they, and then they throw an interception. We have it on Sportsmanlike against Uniontown, but they're going to enforce it on the kickoff. Gotcha. Might have been a little excessive celebration there after the TD. Mustangs will let take it on the kickoff. Nonetheless, ran it till to have the extra point and pull Uniontown back to within three of Laurel Highlands. Clean snap coming back. Sea Rock puts it down. Ran it kick line drive snuck it through on the left side. 10-7, Laurel Highlands over Uniontown. 9-11 left before halftime. We're back at 60 here on the CR Piranha Group High School Sports Night. The Catholic War Veterans Post 1669 in Hopwood is a proud supporter of local high school sports. In fact, their annual charity golf outing has contributed dozens of scholarships to Fayette County students. The Catholic War Veterans Post 1669 in Hopwood, wishing all of our local high school football teams a great season. Jeffrey Barney here from Wright Honda in Uniontown. Are you looking for a new vehicle but don't want to go through the hassle of the buying experience? Then it's time to visit Wright Honda and ask for me, Jeff Barney, General Sales Manager. I'm ready to assist you with all your new and pre-owned car needs. I'm committed to make sure you get the best deal. Come see me today, Wright Honda, or call me on my cell phone, 724 8122749. I'm here to help you get in your new car today. BrightHondaCars.com. Back here, Laurel Highlands High School 10 7. Laurel Highlands leading Uniontown. And Steve, we confirmed with our spotters up here, it was an excessive celebration penalty there against Winfrey after the touchdown. So that will force Uniontown to kick it off here from the 25 yard line. Renatu will kick for Uniontown. Mustangs with Antoine Black now moved up here to the 22 yard line. Black to receive. So we've seen both of these schools, Steve, have had some good opportunities with solid field position tonight. Yep. And it's uh, 
tough foul. Oh, little onside, onside kick coming back here the other way. And I think the Red Raiders might have got on it. You had on the ground there trying to scoop it in. Mark Reed on the Laurel Highland side ran until the kicker might have recovered here for Uniontown. Red Raiders sidelines going crazy, and they have the football, and it's Ranato out of the pack with it. Wow. Wow. Recovers the onside kick. Surprise onside kick from their own 20. Yeah, especially after a 15-yard uh, 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 unsportsmanlike conduct penalty. You would not be expecting that. And again, Reed had a shot at it. They kind of overran it there on the Laurel Highland side, and the kicker ran a toe, able to recover it himself. So if I'm Union Town here, Steve, I might take another deep shot here right away. Got a lot of momentum. The official throwing the tee over there to kind of a wild start. And now Dugan and the Red Raiders trying to go back to work. Down only three at 10 to seven. Here the 9.05 mark of the second quarter. Dugan out of the shotgun. Grooms coming in motion, but the handoff here is gonna go to Walker, and Walker caught in the backfield and drugged down. We'll see where they give him forward progress to. Looks like it'll be right around the 38, 39 yard line will still go as about a five yard loss on the play to bring up second down and 15. Lost of five on the play. I would have taken a deep shot there though, Steve. You got a lot of momentum and try to ride it here quickly. Well, they're still trying to establish some type of running game. And they, they actually were pretty successful that first drive, right? They got several first downs, so maybe they feel like they can get back to that. A couple uh, aided by Mustang penalties, too. The Mustangs have dominated the uh, line of scrimmage the last, uh, ever since that first drive, it's just other than that one big play. Michael Thomas now to the left of Dugan, who's lined up on the shotgun. And now what do we have here? The timeout. Timeout taken by Uniontown. We'll take one as well. 8-12. Left before halftime. 10-7. Laurel Islands over Uniontown. We're back at 60 here on the CR Parada Group High School Sports Night. Accidents can happen at any time. At Stewart Collision Service in Uniontown, we are here to repair your vehicle to pre-accident condition. Have dents? Stewart Collision Service does paintless dent repair. So give us a call at 724-437-9381 or stop by 73 East Fayette Street for all your collision needs. We work with all insurances. Stewart Collision supports our local high school sports team and wish you the best this season. That's Stewart Collision Service, 73 East Fayette Street in Uniontown, 724-437-9381. Prime Rosak and Steve Super, along with Tony Hanola, back here at Laurel Highland High School. Billy Dykes behind the camera. Nick Barcheck back inside our Davis and Davis Attorneys at Law Studios. 10-7 Mustangs leading the Red Raiders. I have to say hello to our buddy Ed Walensky from Sandy Howe Notary Services tonight. I know, Steve, you'd rather have Gary Frankhauser calling this game than you or I, but Gary will be back next week, and we'll have the call of the Perry Uniontown game on Hall of Fame night with TJ DeStefano. Yeah, Gary's a little busy this yes. weekend. Say congratulations to the Frank Hauser family. Gary's son Chase getting married this weekend. And Dugan's going to put it up. A little screen flip over on the far side. Complete there to Michael Thomas. And Thomas going nowhere. In fact, he might have lost a yard on the play. Bring up third down and 16. Three under eight minutes left here in the second quarter. Parker Hoff, on the side. Parker Hoff, he's been everywhere, Steve, on the field for Laurel Highlands early in this game. Had the last tackle there for the Mustangs. Third down and six. And now third and long here for Uniontown. For the Red Raiders, they've got themselves back into this game. Can we mention just a couple of quick plays, interception from Sea Rock on line, and then the long touchdown pass from Dugan down to Winfrey. And the Raiders doing probably uh, a pretty good strategy here, letting that play clock go all the way down to 4-3, too. They're going to have to take another timeout. They're not going to get the playoff. Kind of short of this game, Dugan won to the yep. football. Flags come in, and it's going to be a delay a game. They did not get the timeout called. So third and 16 becomes a third and 21. Tony, any stats standing out to you here early on in this game? Well, that's going to be the fourth penalty on Unitown here for 40 yards, too. Those are the 15-yard variety, so... Kind of shooting themselves in the foot right now, Brian. Sun beginning to set as the lights take their full effect. Sun set just after 8 o'clock tonight. We'll have many of these games over the next couple of weeks played in any kind of daylight as these days get shorter as we move into September. It's been a competitive game, though, so far tonight. Laurel Highlands leading Uniontown 10-7. to Mustang started the scoring on a 28-yard touchdown run from Nola Lyons set up 
after a nice punt return from Antoine Black. Tanner bruised down a 22-yard field goal, and then Cam Dugan on a 39-yard pass to Winfrey. And Dugan putting it up again. That one went right through Winfrey's hands and was almost intercepted there on the backside. Pass was a little bit high. Would have been a tough ball to pull down in that situation. So now fourth and 21. And have to think here, Steve, you're going to bring out the punting unit and see Rock again. Yep. Antoine Black back deep to receive, standing right around the Mustangs 40 yard line. Sea Rock right around the Uniontown 19. Making sure the Red Raiders have the proper personnel on the field. And Black already one big punt return in this game, looking for another one. Clean snap coming back to Sea Rock. Line drive punt this time. A one hop. Black picks it up on the run quickly in a Red Raider territory and right out of bounds. Right near the Uniontown 40-yard line. So 7.06 left before halftime, 10-7. Laurel Highlands leading Uniontown by three. We're back in 30 here on the CR Prada Group High School Sports Night. Thank you for calling Peach and Pharmacy. No automated phone prompts here. Just real, friendly people ready to help you. Whether you need a prescription, medication advice, or have questions about your co-pays, Peach and Pharmacy is a phone call away. Call 724-626-9600. Peach and Pharmacy, where people, not machines, answer your call. Peach and Pharmacy, your local pharmacy. 16-yard punt return there from Antoine Black has the Mustangs with the football at the Uniontown 41. Here's Gio Guerriere with a huge hole, taking it right up the middle down to the Uniontown 25-yard line. So Guerriere with a 16-yard run to set up a first and 10 for Laurel Highlands at the Uniontown 25. Going back to that punt return, it was a low line here punt, and it, but it took a good hop. And uh, Black did a fantastic job of fielding that ball, not letting it bounce a second time. Save the Mustangs probably 50 yards because that ball would have probably rolled inside the 20. And he just got it and got right upfield. Got 16 big yards for the Mustangs. Arl Highlands trying to make this a two-possession game again. Lines still out of the shotgun. Gary here to his left. He's going to get the football again. This time well read defensively. Good surge there from Jamari Walker <laughs> making the tackle four yards behind the line of scrimmage. So that first to 10 becomes a second and 14. Good pursuit there from Walker. By Walker. Lost the fourth. Now the Mustangs about to mix things up a little bit here offensively. Yeah, good job by Walker to get in there and uh, get that Mustang in the backfield. And now you wonder if they're going to let uh, what the effect of that interception of uh, that line through will have an effect on whether on the play calling here if they'll let him open it up back up a little bit. Sometimes the best thing to do is throw it back down the field again and forget about that interception. This will be a jet sweep handoff to Antoine Black. Black inside the 30, still going inside the 20, down the near sideline. Oh, impressive run there from Antoine Black. Get down to the 11-yard line. And we'll have enough there for Uniontown first down. Needed 14, got 18. You know, going back to that thought, Brian, you know, you're right. That, like, they got to... It's a long season. You're going to have to throw the football. You're going to probably be behind in a few games, and you're going to need to open it up a little bit. And I know you want to kind of secure victory and keep the ball on the ground here, but sooner or later you're going to have to let that kid throw the ball and get some confidence back. Let's see if he puts it up here. Gary Ayer back to his right in the backfield. Double tights on the line. Twin receivers to the far side. First and 10 from the Uniontown 11. They go back to Gary Ayer. Comes up the middle. Kind of got stood up there at the 7-yard line. You get three, maybe four there to bring up second and a long six. It's Gary Ayer getting a lot of carries. Yes. Just a sophomore. 5'7". He's only 5'7", 165 pounds. He looks a little stockier than that. Got some good legs on him, and he's... Uh, a good little runner. He was number one on the depth chart as far as the tailback for Laurel Highlands tonight. He's gotten his fair share of carries. Of course, they used Tony. Did Tony have any stats on the yards? Three he has? carries for 16. I could sense you were ready to bark that in there, Tony. I oh, figured, oh, I give, figured give you the opening. ESPN. We have both Hoff and Gary in the backfield right now. Low snap That's coming back. Penalty, They're going to they fake it there at a Hoff option run. Late pitch going back to Gary Air, who's going to bring it down inside the five. Got two, maybe I'm surprised three. the Red Raiders aren't screaming for a illegal motion. They had two backs moving at the same time. Gary Air and, and uh, was that Hoff in the backfield Hoff with, him? with him? Yep. Yeah, they both were kind of moving at the before the snap. And the officials kind of let it go. 
Uniontown five. It's now third down and four. Laurel Highlands can pick up a first down at the Uniontown one. You have 422 left before halftime. Mustangs leading the Red Raiders 10 to 7. Opening week of the high school football season. Again, the Mustangs long road trip next week. We'll head to Mo Rubenstein Stadium to take on the Ambridge Bridgers. Uniontown Play at home clock. for their Hall of Fame game against Perry. Play, Play clock down at two, down to one. It's going to expire here on Laurel Highlands. Coach Colasar trying Colasar. to call a timeout. Is he going to get it? I don't think so. He did not get it. Nope. The official on the far sideline, like he's like, Coach Cole starts pointing at him. And I don't know if he's going to give it to him. They might give the Mustangs a timeout. They're coming over on the near side. So we'll, yeah, burn, a quick, a we'll <laughs> burn a quick 30-second timeout. It's 10-7, Mustangs over the Red Raiders. The clock's still running for some reason. Now they're going to stop, and we'll take a quick 30 here on the C.R. Brada Group High School Sports Night. The UPMC yeah, well, Rehabilitation Institute on Wayland Smith Drive offers cutting-edge physical therapy. Jim Burns and his staff are residents of the community, treating sports injuries, neurological conditions, back pain, sprains and strains, joint replacements, hand injuries, and other conditions. They treat you efficiently and safely by taking all necessary precautions while disinfecting the clinic regularly. All insurance accepted. Experienced therapists. Convenient location and hours. Part of the community. Call the office with a prescription from your doctor or schedule by direct access 724-437-7500. 10-7, Laurel Highlands leading Uniontown. They did give the Mustangs the timeout. And Laurel Highlands will have a third and four from the Uniontown five-yard line. They reset the game clock to 345. I think it was running a little bit because I don't think the folks up here, Steve, even knew if it was a timeout. Well, in, in fairness to uh, Mr. Taylor doing the uh, scoreboard, who does a fantastic job, they never signaled timeout. I agree. So he, you know, he's got to watch the officials. And the officials really didn't do a good job of indicating whether that was and a timeout. They never blew a whistle. They never yeah. blew a whistle to indicate a timeout or a penalty. No. Now they're trying to still sort something out down here right around the five-yard line. A lot of discussion of quick moving half has turned into a, a sudden grind here to get these last four or five minutes in. And Again, you, it's an early season for everybody, yeah. including the officials. Officials got a little note card. He's pulling out writing notes on if he's uh and now we're set to go as the play clock rolling once again third and four from the no, union town not, uh, the play clock, five so. yard line and black's going to come in motion and union town jumped Jump. off sides yep they jumped across on the far side there so that'll be half the distance to the goal encroachment and we'll take it down right around probably about the three-yard line. Two and a half. Should be the two and a half, yeah. So you'll have a third down and about a yard and a half. He didn't really give him the the ball was on the five, and he only went to just inside the three, so I don't know how his math is. It was just outside the five. Oh, okay. Yeah, just outside the five. We'll give him I think your buddy Rodney Gallagher is down there on the I saw his sister Alyssa down there on the side. He's down there on the far right-hand side, and I saw... Here we go, yeah, Steve. Third and here. a long one. And it'll be Lyon calling his own number with a surge four. This is the pen on the spot as to whether or not he got the first down. I think they're going to rule him down here just shy of the two. Lyon about a half yard short of the first down. A portrait of, the defensive line. of course, Rodney and number change in the offseason for West Virginia. Expected to play on both sides of the football for Neil Brown's squad. They open up hosting Penn State next week. A big rivalry game, Steve, for you and Tony. Yeah. <laughs> you guys going to go to the game together and wear each other's? I'm not going to. No. I'm gonna, <laughs> be a lot of fun I'm going to be guys. watching my grandkids, and I'm going to be probably have the sound off, and I'm expecting not. Yeah, we have uh, West Virginia's had a tough, uh, tough luck against Penn State over the uh, years. Fourth so and I'm short here. We'll much. get to your thoughts here in just a moment. Lying back out of the gun. It's going to be a quarterback run the entire way, and Lyon mm. looking for a second touchdown of the night. He might. Should have enough here for the first down. They're going to rule him down at about the half-yard line. So it won't be a TD, but it will be a first down for Laurel Highlands. The Uniontown sideline mm. celebrate. I don't think they realize that the Mustangs picked up a first down there inside the one. Laurel yep. Lyon on so it will be a first down for Laurel Highlands. They'll have a first and goal here inside the one-yard line. And your buddy Big George will be happy. Keandre DeShields is here as yes. well. Last I heard, Keandre is looking for a new school. 
Oh, really? Not sure if he found one or not. Cow. Is he going to Cal? Mm -hmm. Tony with the uh, info there. Good to hear. It's the only reason I'm here. Lion, high snap, put down. Gary Air on the run. Scores there for the Mustangs from inside the one-yard line. So, Gio Gary Air. They never got him down to the ground. He just bowled his way in there. He had Baker kind of leading the way. And uh, Baker kind of just led the way. And Gary Air just kind of got on his hip and waltzed right in the end zone. Score occurring at the 223 mark of the opening quarter. On to attempt to pull it out the touchdown. Now the extra point here for Bruzda to put the Mustangs on top by 10. And the kick is up on the way and good for Tanner Bruzda at the 17-7 lead for Laura Highlands over Uniontown. 2.23 left before halftime. We're back at 60 here on the CR Brada Group High School Sports Night. At what point did everything change? When did service get taken out of service industries? It's too bad because people are busy these days at life, at work, at play. When it comes to your hard-earned money, you want service, real service, from a person you know and a face you trust. At a bank where changing with the times doesn't mean leaving people behind. We're proud to be a part of your community. We're United Bank at your service. I'm George Hockratte, a proud veteran and proud to support the athletes, coaches, and staff of Uniontown and Laurel Highlands High School football. And I hope everybody has a safe and successful season. I'm George Hockratte, Democratic candidate for the Pennsylvania 51st Legislative District. I'm asking for your support in November's election, and I approve this message. Paid for by the committee to elect George Hockratte. Back here in Laurel Highlands High School, the Mustangs now a 17-7 lead over Uniontown after a one-yard touchdown run from Gio Guerriere. Capped off an eight-play 41-yard drive that took 444 off the clock. That drive summary brought to you by Bartok Lawn Care Championship level lawns. And now Bruce did send it away. And we'll send it away deep here over. Actually, it's going to oh, check back up here at the two-yard <laughs> line. And it'll get scooped up here by... Jamari Walker is trying to get out of trouble. Now Walker has a seat. Walker cut back at the oh, 20. Flag. Got up to the 25-yard line with a flag on the play. Probably uh, a block in the well, back. Probably, but you never know. It could be a hold on the Mustangs. Ian Fike brought him down on the play. Two uh, players were tangled up there, and just it'll be interesting to see what they call. Looked like one of Tony's uh, pitching wedge shots kind of checking, really checking up on up. the green. Yeah, that had, really a little, checked up. had a little uh, backspin on it. It bounced on about the, what, four-yard line, took a hop to the, the two, way, and then yeah. just spun back. Yeah, There's a block in the back there against Uniontown. So that's going to take them back the ball. The flag is sitting on the just inside the 15. So if they go 10 yards back or half the distance, they're going to be somewhere inside the 10. Steve, the uh, Baker family checking in from Arkansas tonight. Oh, okay. Is that a relation them to? Watching. Yeah, Tristan, they said yeah. go Tristan. Go number 10 Mustangs, Joanne Crosby Baker. Well, we're back that was a pretty good block he made. Yes, it was. And it was nice to see how he was uh, pretty uh, pretty enthusiastic uh, helping the young Gary Air out after the touchdown, gave him some high fives. Now the Red Raiders in a little bit of trouble here inside their own 10-yard line. Worst yep. field position they've All had start. tonight. A left uh Tackle for the Red Raiders. That's uh, and it drew Jaden Darnell across the line on the other side. There's a false start there against Uniontown. You check that that was Amir Green that came across on the Laurel Highland side. No, that was uh, 76 Green. No, it was 67 on the Red Raiders. Yeah, but 76. He drew 76 yeah, yeah. across. What I was trying to mention here. Yeah. But the fall start preceded Green coming across. I don't so have a roster. My roster stops at 63, Brian. Where's There's the two pages? I didn't get it the second page, but that's all right. <laughs> we'll get it for you at halftime. Seven penalties now for 55 yards for the Red Raiders. And a first and 14. Fumble. Fumble. He's trying I to get back the, on it there, and I think I Dugan think, did. I think no, the Mustangs didn't. have it. They wow, wow, that's just a wow. tough one. That's a trouble Raiders. going under center sometimes. You know, that. It's a little easier for that quarterback to catch the snap on a shotgun sometimes. And uh, 
just disastrous for Union Town. Yeah. They were within three midway through the second quarter. Had the Mustang yeah. touchdown drive yeah. capped off that's by the Guerriere one. run and now fumbling the football here inside their own 10-yard line. Yeah, that's a tough one for the for the Red Raiders. Just a, just a slew of mistakes. Think about how big a penalty that was now in the kickoff. Yeah, correct. Because you probably wouldn't have been running those type of plays. Well, they were out to the 35, 40 yard, yard line, yeah. right? So 25. They, yeah. You still wouldn't have been running those type of plays from the 25. Now two split backs here for Laurel Highlands working right to left first and goal from the five. Pitch going back here to Antoine Black. Bounces it on the outside. Now a little cut back flag. and Black with Late a flag, flag on the play. Spins his way into the end zone for Laurel Highlands. Touchdown. We'll see if it stands. I think that's going to go against the Mustangs. You would think. Had a lot of motion there on that yeah, far side. Whatever the flag was, it was unnecessary for the Mustangs because it was nowhere near the play. I mean, he's blocking uh, one of the linemen that was 78 for the Mustangs, blocking in the back, and that th that happened at midfield, and that play was already toward the corner, right, the right corner, right. so it had nothing to do with the play. And, you know, just a little... Uh, in early Whoa. season, these yep. type of things happen. Yeah, just uh, mental mistakes, but uh, it, those things happen. The kids are trying to make a play. They're out there hustling. They want to hit somebody. Yes. You know? So they, you know, they see a guy in another color. They're practicing against the same color jerseys every day. First and goal. Now first and goal from the 15 here for Laurel Highlands. And that's a six penalty on the Mustangs for 50 yards. Starting to really add up. Line out of the shotgun. Pitch pass coming forward there to Antoine Black. And Black cutting up the field inside the 10, inside the 5, and Antoine Black from 15 yards out into the end zone for Laurel Highlands touchdown to extend the Mustangs' lead to 23 to 7 with 153 left before halftime. Well, that penalty is all but forgotten now, right? Yes, it is. And Black into the end zone for the first time this season on the Laurel Highlands side. And Black over 20 Division I scholarship offers. Putting schools like Penn State and Clemson, Miami and Florida State. Pitts offered them as well. And now bruised it out of the extra point and increased the lead to 17. Clean snap coming back. Tanner sending it through again. Hey, what? This kicker may get a scholarship offer. Yes, he, he is. Booming some kicks like that. His kickoffs have been pretty good. And it's a 24 7 lead for Laurel Highlands over Uniontown. 153 left before halftime. We're back at 60 here on the CR Piranha Group High School Sports Night. Go to Florida Union Town and trade me this. John Clinton with Dominic Harbone from your seven-time President's Award-winning Florida Union Town. Dom, the summer sales event is in full swing, and these offers are on point. John, listen to this. 2024 F-150s have up to $6,000 off MSRP or up to 5000 and 3.9% financing for 60 months or only 4.9% for 72 months. Now that's a deal. Broncos, we got them, and we're making moves. Check this out. Let's take up to $3,000 off MSRP, and you can pick up an additional $2,000 if you have a 1995 newer Jeep product, now that's crazy. Looking for an expedition? Look no further. Discounts up to $5,000 off MSRP or 2.9% financing for up to 72 months. Don, looking at something pre-owned? Well, you're in luck. We have over 60 in stock. Most are certified with factory warranty. Your car knows, shouldn't you? That's 40 Uniontown on the hill across from Applebee's or 40Uniontown.com. Our sales department will be open on Labor Day from 9 a.m. till 2 p.m. Sale includes all applicable incentives and excludes rep for insurance. Must finance for motor credit. Bruised us and then the kickoff back to Walker right around the two yard line. Now Walker trying to spring one here down the near sideline. Bruised are trying to push him out of bounds. Bruised is saying he's out, but Walker's still loose and he's finally brought down inside the Laurel Highlands 20 yard line. It took the Mustangs' Jonah Coleman to bring him down. Wow. The Mustang, a couple of coaches were pointing at the sideline, but the. Did not get the call. The officials were pretty far away from it on both ends, and they did not. Bruzda was pretty out. adamant, saying he was out of bounds. Seventy-five said, Steve, yard return. The officials didn't have a great view of it. One is a seventy-five-yard kick return there from Walker. In another situation where sometimes the guys kind of get out of their lanes a little bit there. There's a little helter skelter there between Walker and the other back man there, well, Tory Grooms. This would be big for the. Red Raiders, if you could get a score here and get it to 24-14, it would be for as uh, many disasters that happened in the first half. You could have, you know, it, it could be a lot worse. They have great field position again. 
inside the Laurel Highlands 20-yard line. Not a lot of time, though. Just 139 left. Not very far to go, though, either. Dugan taking the snap, looking to step up, and Dugan lowers the shoulder and maybe gets a yard down to the 19-yard line and a little extracurriculars there between to, Tristan two, Baker and Dugan. The scoreboard says two timeouts left, but I thought they scored. They called a few more they than that. They just have one remaining, according to Tony. Yeah. I don't know. I think the scoreboard is incorrect. Yeah, it should be the other way, Sue. Yeah. Laurel Highlands has two left in the... Right. Red Raiders only one. We're down to 109 left before halftime. Second and nine from the 19-yard line of Laurel Highlands. Dugan still out of the shotgun. Protector back off to his left. Mustang showing pressure again. Dugan takes the snap, rolls far side, throws on the run, pass incomplete, intended for Notorious Grooms. Yeah. Tristan Baker on the coverage defensively there for Laurel Highlands. Hit him right in the hands. Just a pretty good throw, actually. Grooms just dropped it. going to be... And not only would he have had pretty, he would have been really close to that first down marker, but he would have got out of bounds to stop the clock. Of course, the incomplete stops it anyway, but you'd like to have those 10 yards, wouldn't you? And now third and nine with 53 seconds left. Line of scrimmage, the Laurel Highlands 19-yard line. See now folks checking in from everywhere. Scott McLee watching in Los Angeles. Kim Campbell watching in Surf City, North Carolina. And Derek wow. Butler watching at the Bay in Ocean City, Maryland. And here we have Dugan out of the shotgun. Play clock down to two, down to one. He got it off. And Dugan looking on the far side again. Floats it into the end zone. Single coverage. Winfrey has it. Did he push off? Referees say no. It's a touchdown. Laurel Highlands contending there that Winfrey pushed off in the end zone. And he had Callaway down after it appeared that Winfrey might have initiated the contact. But the touchdown's going to stand. And certainly down back to within 11 at 24 to 13. I think the whole stadium saw a push off, except for the official. <laughs> but uh, they didn't call it, so the Red Raiders get the score. And someone's down over there. I don't know who that uh, – it might be C-Rock, who's the holder. And that could be a problem. Ladies and gentlemen. So it's the second hookup of the night between Dugan and Winfrey. This one officially going as a 19-yard touchdown pass. And that was set up on the long kick return. Jamari Walker. Score occurs with 47 seconds left in the second quarter. Zero. Just awaiting the so extra points. So, so C Rock has to come out of the game since they stopped Correct. for him. So now you're going to get somebody. You go for two here? No, they're going to still kick it, but you're going to have a new. Well, you got the quarterback, so he's at least been in the game. He's. Uh, Dugan, the backup holder, ran it to the kicker. Hopefully, C Rock's okay. 24 to 13. This to pull the Red Raiders to within 10. Did Ranato sneak it through? Yeah. Yes, he did. So you need town back to within 10 of Laurel Island to 24 to 14. Been a fun one tonight. 47 seconds left before halftime. We're back at 60 here on the CR Prada Group High School Sports Night. Are you ready to indulge in the best pizza around? Are you looking for a lunch or dinner spot with all your favorite Italian classics coupled with mouth-watering daily specials? Then it's time to visit 2G Brothers Pizza, located at 123 Matthew Drive in Uniontown. Specials and customer favorites include Thursday's Sicilian-style pizza and Saturday's chicken parmesan. Call 724-439-5600 today and let 2G Brothers handle the rest. Your taste buds will be glad you did. Where can you go these days and have your gas pump for you? Oil checked and windshield cleaned? Joe B's Golf, that's where. Joe B's Golf is conveniently located at the corner of Fayette and Basin Boulevard. Joe B's Golf is a fast, friendly, full-service gas station that has been serving the Uniontown area for 50 years. Joe B's Golf offers lockout services, a fenced-in storage lot, and is a AAA 24-hour car and light truck towing service. Call 724-438-0681. Back here at Laurel Highland High School, Uniontown now back to within 10. Dugan to Winfrey, 19-yard touchdown pass, occurring at the 47-second mark of the second quarter, capping off a three-play 20-yard drive that took 52 seconds off the clock. That drive summary brought to you by Bartok Lawn Care, the experts in lawn care. And another onside kick attempt here. We've had three onside kick attempts in this first half. That time, the onside kick recovered by Laurel Highlands is falling on the football. There was Mark Reed. Well, you got to figure they're probably thinking they don't want to kick it to Black. Yep. Yeah, and so they figure, well, why not just uh, we got a chance to recover. They already covered one, so 
Not a bad, really not a bad strategy. Opportunity to try to go deep again, but you get great field position at midfield if you're Laurel Highlands. How aggressive well, do you get only, here with Lyon? That's the thing. The Mustangs have not, uh, of course, they're running the ball. I'm sure we'll get the stats from Tony at halftime, but they got to have a couple, you know, 150, 200 yards rushing by now. Triple right formation. Gary Ear to the right of line here in the backfield as Noah takes the snap. Ranatil coming on the backside. They pick him up. Line throws on the run. Pass is deflected and knocked down, falling incomplete. Intended wide receiver there for the Mustangs was Jonah Coleman, number 13. Yeah, that was uh, doomed from the start. He rolled out to the right. He had really no one open to throw to and he threw it down at the you know kind of down at the feet probably almost on purpose that was almost like a a throwaway now second and 10 41 seconds left on the clock again the mustangs two timeouts remaining you got to get somebody out there in the flat one-on-one -on -one and let somebody make a play but uh again if you look at the scoreboard it's showing union town with two timeouts laurel highlands with one that's incorrect laurel highlands two timeouts remaining union town has one and now Lyon will send Gary Air in motion. Might have been an illegal snap coming back that time. On the play. False, False start, start against yeah. Laurel Highlands. I smell hot dogs. You smell them? Maybe they're getting them ready for you, Steve, for halftime. They always make a pretty good dog here, Mustang Field. They always bring food in for us as well. I have to take yeah. Mark John, Mike Smith, and the entire Laurel Highlands Athletic Department for their help this week as well. Getting it set up here in the press box, making Highlands sure the internet was working yards. for us. And we were set up okay. It's up here a couple of times during the weekend. Let's see Everything if they throw one deep here. Test yeah. it out. The line's going to drop back to be a little middle screen going to Antoine He's Black, gone. and he has running room. Black is gone inside the 30, inside the 25, and Antoine Black is going to house it from 55 yards out for a Mustang touchdown. Don't have to throw it deep when you get a run like that with Antoine Black. No flags. So the Mustangs increase the lead now back to 16 at 30 to 14. <coughs> it's been a wild one so far, Steve. Yeah, a lot of scoring. Pretty exciting. The crowd has been entertained, that's for sure. And now an opportunity here to tack another one on with the extra point lead at 16. This to make it 17. Where's that for the extra point? You wonder... You really want to get crazy. Let's see if the Mustangs try an onside kick. <laughs> <laughs> you might be up 17 doing it with 27 seconds left before halftime. And what? See, this is where the officials, you know, it doesn't take that long to spot the ball for an extra point. Yeah, I don't know what is causing these delays. We've had a lot of them tonight. I hate to say it was routine, but he had a touchdown scored. I think they you know, want to kick off. Like? Yeah, it's sportsmanlike. I think Black, yeah, while he was on the time. run, Kind of showed the football forward there right around the 20-yard line. You can't do that. Kind of celebrating before he got into the end zone. Eight penalties for 70 yards now against the Mustangs in this first That'll half. Be, both coaches will not yeah. be happy with that. You've had two excessive celebration penalties as Bruce descends it through after touchdowns. One on each side, but it's Laurel Highlands on top now. 31 to 14, 27 seconds left here in the third quarter. We're back in 60 on the CR Product Group High School Sports Night. Amidar Transit, locally owned and operated by the Scott family, have been helping students travel to school safely in the Fayette County area for more than four years. Amidar Transit is a proud sponsor of Laurel Highlands High School Sports and wishes all the area teams good luck. For more information about MNR Transit, call them 724-439-3164. 724-439-3164. Or stop by their office at 253 South Mount Vernon Avenue in Uniontown. Looking for a dentist? Dr. Michael George and Dr. Ashley Parker of George Dental Associates, a Uniontown staple, has over 40 years experience treating patients of all ages. Their caring, professional team of dentists and their staff offer a full range of dental services, including restorative, preventative, pediatric, cosmetic, and so much more. Visit georgedentalassociates.com today. That's georgedentalassociates.com. And find out how they can enhance your smile through the art of dentistry. Wishing the Mustangs a successful season. 31-14, to 14, the Laurel Highlands Mustangs leading the Uniontown Red Raiders after the 50-yard touchdown pass off the middle screen from the old line to Antoine Black. Second touchdown of the night for Black. They've already brought the food into the press box, so Steve's going to probably not be available here for the final 27 I'm ready. seconds. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you, uh, you, 
And we do have a squib kick coming here, Steve. It's juggled. And a little scrum for the Laura Mustangs Holland might have it. got back on it. Wasn't a routine oh, onside oh, kick. Waiting for the officials to officially signal something here. And it looks like have don't have a signal yet. Number 40 came out of there with it for the Red Raiders. That would be well, Chucky Wingfield. Chucky. So Wingfield with the recovery for Uniontown. And the Red Raiders actually, Steve, Wingfield. will have good field position. 20 seconds left before halftime. They'll have it here. The Laurel Highlands 45. Uniontown will put the ball in play first and 10. What do you think? You think they're going to take a I, shot? Why wouldn't you take a shot? You're down 17, Laurel opening Highlands week of the season. 45. Just chuck it down there, see what happens. Been a long last four or five minutes of this second quarter with excessive stoppages and a number of touchdowns scored as well. Had six touchdowns scored in this game already. Twin receivers to each side. You have Dugan out of the shotgun with a protector back off to his left. He's going to take the snap, hang in the pocket, look to step up on the far side. Dugan's now going to pull it down, goes inside the 40 and slides down to the 39-yard line. Again, Union Town just one timeout remaining. Let's see if they'll take it here, and they will with 8.6 left on the clock. Also have an injury down as a Red Raider down on the field. So 8.6 left before halftime. 31-14 Mustangs are back at 60 on the CR Prada Group High School Sports Night. When you are looking to make some extra cash for your aluminum can, visit Cherokee Recycling, where aluminum can is king. Cherokee Recycling is open Monday through Friday, 9 to 5, and Saturdays, 8 to 12 noon, closed Sundays and holidays. Give Marcus or Rags a call today at 724-439-3228 for Cherokee Recycling, where recycling makes the most sense. Looking for a fast, friendly notary service that is open in the evening? Sandy Howell Notary Services, located on Dry Knob Road in Smithfield, is here for your vehicle, boat, motorcycle, ATV registrations and transfers, plate renewals and more. They offer new PA and Maryland plates and West Virginia title applications. They serve Uniontown, Smithfield, Fairchance and all surrounding areas. Open weekdays 10 to 8.30, Saturdays from 9 to 5. Sandy Howell Notary Services, Dry Knob Road, Smithfield, 724-564-8955. Big enough to serve you, small enough to know you by name. Nathan Searock was the injured Red Raider. He actually had to hobble off the field. Not good news, Steve, for your punter. No, because he was uh, definitely hobbling on one leg. Now you have 8.6 left on the clock. Dugan out of the shotgun line of scrimmage. The Laurel Highlands 39. They're going to chuck it deep on the far side, falling incomplete. Looking for grooves there in double coverage. You still have 3.6 seconds left on the clock. So still time for one another more flag, play, but another, another flag. flag. Personal foul. That was a late flag, wasn't it? Yes, it was. It was thrown right around the 14-yard line. Might have had some late contact down the field. Chirping. Tony thinks there was some chirping going on. You can say it, Tony. You got your mic on. I know. I think there was a little chirping going on after the play, but... Yep. There you're exactly correct, Tone. Had a couple of unsportsmanlike conduct penalties and personal fouls tonight as well. They've been going on both sides. Just hasn't been one team called for them tonight. That's the third 15-yard penalty on Laurel Highlands in his first half. Nine, nine penalties for 85 yards wow. for Laurel Highlands in his first half. And they're up 31-14. Yeah. yeah. Coach Colasar is not going to be happy about that, though, tomorrow. First and 10. Indian Town gets another shot here from the Laurel Highlands 24. Well, probably a little uh, little too far for a field goal, so you're going to have to throw one in the end zone here. Be your last play. Yeah, you need time to use their last timeout. 3.6 left. We'll take a quick 30 here on the CR Parada Group High School Sports Night. Get more for your hard-earned money during the Labor Day sale going on now at Reese Warehouse. Stop in and see the savings on famous name appliances and furniture. Plus 12 months, no interest for qualified buyers. Check out the extra discounts on recliners by Lazy Boy, Catnapper, and Flex Steel. Recline back, relax, and watch or listen to the game in comfort. The Labor Day sale going on now at Reese Warehouse, the Superstore. Shop Monday through Friday, 9 to 6, Saturday until 5, Labor Day, 9 until 2. Reese Warehouse, can it be? Why buy retail? So one last play here for Uniontown before halftime. They have the football at the Laurel Highlands 24-yard line. 
Dugan out of the shotgun. Walker off to his right. Twin receivers to each side. Ball on the left hash mark. Mustangs up 31 to 14 over the Red Raiders as Dugan takes the snap. He'll look to step up. Got to heave it here and he'll throw on the run. And that pass will get intercepted. Picked off there by the Mustangs. Jonah Coleman to end the half. So Coleman with a late interception for Laurel Highlands, preserving the 17-point halftime lead. And Dugan just had to put it up there, Steve. Yeah, just yeah, you gotta you gotta throw it uh, down there and hope for something good to happen. Stay and tuned for our halftime show brought to you by the Radcliffe Martin Law Firm. Comes your way next here on WMBS Trib Live High School Sports Network, the South Union Township Sports Network, and Facebook Live. Do you or someone you know need in-home support? Let Caring Mission Home Care be your solution. We provide assistance with daily living activities, personal care, meal preparation, medication management, companionship, shopping, and transportation. Caring Mission employs insured aides and now offers certified dementia practitioners for in-home Alzheimer's care. Caring Mission also provides free assessments, creating customized care plans for each individual. For more information, give us a call at 724-439-7656 or visit our website at thecaringmission.com. When your car is damaged, the name to remember is Ted Sova and Son Body and Fender Repair. Family owned and operated for 61 years and providing quality, reliable service, Ted Sova and Son offers complete collision service, minor to major repairs, frame and unibody repair, and glass installation. They'll blueprint your vehicle for repair and work with your insurance company. With their environmentally friendly waterborne paint process, Ted Sova and Son not only cares for our community and children, they care for our environment. Located on Atlas Road in Hopwood, it's their goal to alleviate the stress of an accident and assist you in any way. To bring your vehicle over to Sova, call 724-437-2351. Now Ted Sova proudly introduces his new company, Target Safety Solutions, Atlas Road in Hopwood, providing vehicle alignments, calibrations, minor mechanical repairs, state inspections, including trailers up to 10,000 pounds. Safety, our target, your solution. Check out their website at TargetSafetySolutionsLLC.com. Ted Silva, proud to support local high school sports. The Sea Harbor Auto Group is bringing service to your door with the exclusive Sea Harbor Service Valet. Just call to schedule your next service appointment, and we'll come pick up your car and drop it off after the work is finished. We'll even watch it for you. Call us today at 724-930-7766 to schedule your next appointment. Pick up and delivery with White Glove Service. Never wait in a service lounge again. Call us today at 724-930-7766. It's just that easy. NovaCare Rehabilitation in Uniontown is accessible for all of your recovery needs. New at NovaCare is Pelvic Floor Physical Therapy, a specialized program to treat patients with pelvic floor dysfunction related to bladder, bowel, sexual function, and pregnancy postpartum. These issues can affect both women and men and include urinary frequency, urgency and incontinence, pelvic pain, constipation, IBS, menopause, painful periods, and more. Call 724-437-0556 for an appointment in Uniontown. Personalize your care with NovaCare. Archon Building Supply has provided the tri-state area with ready-mix concrete and building supplies for decades. Family-owned and operated and built on a foundation of trust, integrity, and exceptional quality, Marcon is your local leader for ready-mix concrete, precast, lumber, tools, electrical, plumbing, lawn care, and general building supply needs. Visit the store in Markleysburg or call Marcon today at 724-329-5542. Marcon Building Supply, your one-stop shop for all your home building and construction needs. This bit pooch mo Mobile Spa is a fully mobile dog spa serving Fayette and Westmoreland counties, and they're ready to help you get your furry friend looking fabulous today. Misfit offers bathing and full grooming packages for all sizes and breeds of dogs and brings their expertise to you, removing the challenges of transporting your pup for their coat cleaning and care. And they use all natural products, too. No mess in your home or car. They're friendly, reliable, and professional. So why wait? Make the call to Misfit Pooch today at 724-912-1127. Some things just go together, like bread and butter, blue jeans and Saturdays, best friends and phone calls. And a great match, you and discounts from Erie Insurance. It's like this. Safety features in your car will have you paying less for your auto insurance. And pay off your Erie Auto policy all at once, and you'll save up to 7% more. On your homeowner's policy, you earn discounts that start at age 46 and go up each time you celebrate a birthday. There are more discounts, too, for things like home safety features and even teenage drivers. And the savings keep adding up. When you have your auto and home covered with Erie, you get a discount. Buy a life policy with us, and the savings can get even better. At Erie Insurance, above all in service means making life a little easier on you and on your wallet. 
Your Erie agent is waiting for you. Your local Erie agent is Sproul's Insurance Group, 724-437-9812, or go to SprowlsInsurance.com. Discount terms and amounts may vary by state. See your local Erie agent for details. Attorneys Bobby Gordon, Shane Gannon, and Tim Witt at Watson Mundorf LLP wish the Laurel Highlands Mustangs and all of our local teams the best of luck this year. Watson Mundorf is a premier regional law firm whose experience and expertise empower it to not only be an advocate for its clients, but also provide them with exceptional service to exceed expectations. With offices in Uniontown and Connorsville, they are local and here to serve you. Call 724-626-8882 for attorneys Bobby Gordon, Shane Gannon, and Tim Witt. Our Islands a 31-14 lead over Uniontown here at halftime. Brian Morozak along with Steve Super and Tony Hanola. Billy Dice behind the camera and our Facebook Live video feed and Nick Barcheck back inside our Davis and Davis attorneys at Law Studios. Tony has your halftime stats to being brought to you by Peach and Pharmacy inside the downtown Connellsville Peach and Market. Tony, take it away. All right, Brian. In that first half for the Laurel Highlands Mustangs, offensively, passing-wise, Noah Lyon was two for five in that first half for 70 yards. Both of his completions going for touchdowns to Antoine Black, one from 15 yards and the other one from 55 yards. He also had an interception in there as well. On the rushing end of it, the Mustangs were led by in, by, in rushing by Noah Lyon, who had eight carries for 50 yards, one of those a 28-yard scamper on the first offensive play of the game for the Mustangs for a touchdown. Parker Hoff had two carries for 22 yards. Antoine Black, three carries for 23. And Gio Guerriere, five carries for 20 yards and a touchdown. In that first half, the Mustangs ran 23 offensive plays. They had 18 rushes for 115 yards total. Passing, 70 yards, 185 yards of total offense. The bad stat they had in that first half, nine penalties for 85 yards. They did have five first downs, and that one turnover was the interception by Noah Lyon. On the other side for the Uniontown Red Raiders, Cam Dugan in that first half was three for eight passing for 57 yards. He also had two touchdown passes, both of those going to Calvin Winfrey, one from 39 yards and one from 19 yards. Dugan also completed a pass to Michael Thomas for a one-yard loss. As we said, three for eight, 57 yards, two touchdowns and one interception in that first half. On the rushing end, not much to show for the Unitown Red Raiders. They, had, uh, they were led in that first half rushing by Michael Thomas, who had four carries for three yards. Cam Dugan, six carries for two yards minus. Jameer Walker, three carries for minus six. Tory Grooms, three carries for two yards. And Nathan Searock had one carry for one yard. In that first half, Unitown Red Raiders ran 25 offensive plays, minus two yards rushing on 17 total rushes, 57 yards passing, total first half yards of 55 yards. They also were hampered by the penalties. They had seven penalties for 55 yards in that first half. Only had three first downs, and they also had three turnovers, two fumbles, and an interception thrown by Dugan. Halftime scoring summary. The Mustangs open up the scoring on their opening play from scrimmage. And Noah Lyon, 28-yard touchdown run set up after a nice kick return from Antoine Black. Just a one play, 28-yard drive. It took just six seconds off the clock. Bruised out of the extra point to make it 7-0. And Tony, hard to believe 7 and nothing was the score at the end of the opening quarter. Yeah, I was just looking at that, Brian. You had, you had the Laurel Highlands Mustangs only score seven points in the first, 31 so far in this in the second half so far, and Uniontown, 14 points all scored in the second quarter. So let's look at that second quarter scoring. Tana Bruzda started off the scoring with a 22-yard field goal, the 11-15 mark of the second quarter. That capped off a six-play, 27-yard drive. It took 3.37 off the clock to increase the Laurel Highlands lead to 10 to nothing. But then the Red Raiders came back. Cam Dugan, a 39-yard touchdown pass to Calvin Winfrey. Calvin had a little juggle regain there in the end zone. Ran a toe out of the extra point. Red Raiders back to within three at 10 to seven. Then Gio Guerriere coming back for Uniontown, capping off an eight play 41 yard drive that took 444 off the clock with a one yard touchdown run. That score occurred the 223 mark of the second quarter to put the Mustangs up 17 to seven. So you had all these touchdowns occurring in the final two minutes and 30 seconds of the second quarter. After Uniontown coughed up the football, Antoine Black scoring on a 15 yard touchdown reception. It was actually a little pitch pass forward. Bruised added another extra point to make it 24 to seven. 
And then Dugan after Uniontown got good field position. On another touchdown pass, this is a 19-yarder to win free. Laura Highlands won an offensive P.I. They didn't get it. Touchdown stood, and that TD occurred at the 47-second mark of the second quarter. Red Raiders back to within 10. And then after, I'm not sure if it was an onside kick or a squib kick, Nonetheless, Laura Highlands got it back with good field position right around midfield. Noah Lyon on a middle screen to Antoine Black. It went as a 50-yard touchdown pass. I think Black ran about 45 yards, Tony. <laughs> And bruised at another extra point to make it 31 to 14. So we had fireworks everywhere late in the second quarter. Yeah, and you're right. As I'm looking at my stats here, Brian. At one point in time, the Unitown Red Raiders, I'm sorry, the, the Laurel Highlands Mustangs got the ball with two minutes and eight seconds left. And as you mentioned, in that in that last two minutes and eight seconds, a bunch of scoring, and especially by the Laurel Highlands Mustangs to pull out with a 17-point halftime advantage. We'll take a look at the WPIL scoreboard when we come back here at Laurel Highlands. It's the Mustangs 31, the Red Raiders 14 here at halftime on WMBS, Triple Live High School Sports Network, the South Union Township Sports Network, and Facebook Live. Ready? Ready to update your home? Find what you need at Zen's Construction Warehouse. Their friendly, knowledgeable staff will be happy to help you the old-fashioned way. Zen's is open Monday through Friday, 9 to 5.30, Saturday and Sunday, 10 to 2. 485 Walnut Hill Road in Continental. Zen's Construction Warehouse, 724-366-8274. Or visit Zen's Construction Warehouse's Facebook page. Zen's Construction Warehouse, our surplus, your savings. Pizza, beer, atmosphere, it's all at Mom Maruka's Pizza, located on Barton Mill Road in Uniontown. Mom Maruka's is your prime spot to enjoy local high school sports. Family owned and operated, the Sampson family carries on the tradition of homemade pizza, salads, wings, and the best Italian hoagie and homemade bruschetta in town. Mom Maruka's is open Monday through Saturday from 4 to 10 for indoor and outdoor dining and takeout. Don't forget Mom's catering services for your next party or gathering. Call 724-438-9066 or visit MomMarukaPizza.com for their menu and live music schedule. The summer sales event is going on now at Thurby's Riverside Ford, and the deals are hot. Hey, Jimmy, did you see that the new 2024 Ford Escapes now come with 2.9% financing for 72 months, plus $575 in Ford credit bonus cash? The new 2024 Ford Edge has 1.9% for 60 months, plus $1,000 in Ford credit bonus cash. The incentives are back, and the interest rates are low for the summer sales event. And check this out. The new 2024 Ford F-150X LT, the best-selling truck on the planet, has a special deal of 0% APR for 36 months, plus $900 in Ford credit bonus cash, plus trade assist of $1,600. Did I mention we just received a shipment of 2024 Ford Maverick pickup all-wheel drive, starting at just $27,735. We've got the deals, and we've got the inventory. Furby's Riverside Ford, located one mile past the casino at Nemecolon. Hurry, offer ends September 3rd, 2024, Ford Motor Credit financing required. Movement Physiotherapy is here to serve you. Now located off Route 40 on Pedro Drive, west of Uniontown, Movement Physiotherapy treats back issues, knee and ankle pain, shoulder, hip, neck, and balance issues, and provides post-surgical rehab. Using aquatic therapy, manual therapy, therapeutic exercise, soft tissue massage, electrical stimulation, running analysis, and balance programs, Tyler Gasek and his team are ready to improve your health with physical therapy. To schedule your appointment, phone 724-912-PTPT or visit Movement Physiotherapy on Online at movementpp.com. town, you've seen prices rise from the dinner table to the pump. But Allstate agent Russ Blayho was seeing ways to save you money on insurance. From starting a new policy to bundling coverage or even driving safely. Russ knows how to maximize your savings. When it comes to seeing ways to save, Russ does it best. So call Russ Blayho today at 724-439-9700. That's 724-439-9700. And you'll be on your way to keeping your money where it belongs, in your wallet. Savings vary subject to terms, conditions, and availability. Allstate Fire and Casualty Company and Affiliates, Northbrook, Illinois. Your heat on the fritz? Your AC stop working? Your pipes backed up? Did your lights go out? Well, for all your heating, air conditioning, electric, and plumbing emergencies, CHIPS Residential Services is here for you. Located right in Uniontown and offering 24-hour emergency service, let the experts at CHIPS help you through all your emergency needs as well as installation and regular service. Call 724-366-8046 to get the help you need today. Your hometown team of technicians, CHIPS Residential Services. Two Brothers Tree and Stump Service is your local, fully insured, expert tree removal and advanced tree trimming service based right in Uniontown. Brothers Jared and Justin Gibson bring more than two decades of specialized experience to stump and tree removal, but also provide general cleaning services and some landscaping services, too. 
So, whatever your outdoor needs might be, Two Brothers is ready to help you today with customizable plans and a commitment to getting the job done right. Call 724-415-9183. Prime Rosak, Steve Super, Tony Anola back here at Mustang Field, 31-14. Laurel Highlands leading Uniontown here at the break. Let's take a look at the WPIL scoreboard. Some other games going on tonight around the WPIL. California, 14-7. Halftime lead over Sarah Catholic. California's program, Tony, always strong. We saw the makers of the WPIL quarterfinals a year ago. Sarah Catholic, a pretty good program. Pretty good showing for Cal here in Week 0. Yeah, good start for them, actually. And as we said before, a very nice team year in and year out. So, like I said, let's see them start off on a good note in 2024. Waynesburg, a 21-7 lead over West Green. Cannon Mack up 17-14 over Peters Township. North Hills leading Hempfield by a score of 19 to nothing. Jefferson Morgan a 21 to nothing lead over Chartiers Houston. Tony Connellsville first season for the Falcons playing as an independent, not getting off to a good start. They're down against a very good Greater Latrobe team at halftime, 28 to nothing. Yeah, that's and but that's a tough start for them. Latrobe is a great team this year. They've got a lot of D1 prospects and really a tough opener for Connorsville, no doubt. And Latrobe actually forced up from 4A to 5A this year because of enrollment, so they'll certainly have a tougher schedule throughout the course of the season as well. State College up 28 to 7 over Gateway at halftime. Bethel Park a 29 7 lead over Seneca Valley. North Allegheny leading St. Francis, a prep school out of Maryland, 7 to nothing. McKeesport currently in double overtime, tied at 28 with Uniontown and Lake of Ohio. That's actually in the North Canton area. It's the school district that actually borders where my nieces and nephews go to school. They actually live near Uniontown, Ohio. Uniontown Lake playing McKeesport tonight. That game over at Woodland Hills in double overtime, tied at 28. Well, I tell you what, and and you said that's against McKeesport, which Correct. has a, which is a good team. Yes, I mean you already had uh, that Keeman Spell commit to Penn State yes. already, first commit in 2027 for that class. So you know they've got a lot of talent, a lot of skill players too. They're expecting a good year this year, so that's an interesting start. So obviously, you need town of Ohio must have a pretty decent team. Moon up 14 to nothing over Trinity. Trinity a good program last year. They won a playoff game but in a little early hole here to start off the 2024 campaign. Yeah, and you just, you know what, you, it's it's hard, especially the first game of the season when you lose some seniors and things like that, have a lot of people that are really just making their high school debut. A little tough to start, and uh, you'll really have a good feel within the next couple of weeks how everybody's going to be doing. Hampton up 15-12 to 12 over University Prep as well. Next week here on WMBS, a pair of games. Tony's going to join me in the booth. We have a long road trip up to Mo Rubenstein Stadium. Tony's looking forward to it. He wants to get up to Ambridge for that one. I don't know if he's going to sleep all week for the Mustangs and the Ambridge Bridgers. It's been a long time since we've been up to Mo Rubenstein Stadium. Yeah, Tony. I'll tell you. I'm <laughs> chomping at the bit. <laughs> and we'll also have the Uniontown Perry game, a big game. It's Hall of Fame night for Uniontown, and among the inductees, our good friend Billy Dice's wife, Dr. Nicole Dice, going into the Hall of Fame, along with our WMBS colleague, Arnie Amber. I was going to say, throw Arnie in there as well. Big, big staff there. You got uh, Nicole coming in, getting into the Hall of Fame, as well as Arnie. That's great. Nicole, the youngest superintendent in the state of Pennsylvania in the Turkeyfoot Valley School District. Of course, Arnie, well, he think his legacy speaks for itself, doesn't it, Tony? Oh, most definitely. Arnie's spinning the oldies, yes, buddy. Yes, and again, that game will kick off at 7 o'clock from Bill Power Stadium next week. It'll be TJ DeStefano and Gary Frankhauser on the call at Uniontown High School. Billy behind the camera there. Tony and I will have Josh Kreisick behind our camera up at Mo Rubenstein Stadium for Laurel Highlands and Amber. Steve Super gets the week off. Well, Soup, uh, you never know. He might be on the coaching staff down at West Virginia you never next, know. next week for you know, West Virginia, Penn, West State, Virginia yeah. Penn State. Yeah, and actually... Saw Rod kind of walking around here a little bit, maybe get to chat with him after the game, see what he thinks about yes. the uh, rivalry he's going to play in next week. Here it's Laurel Highlands 31, Union Town 14 at halftime. Second half comes your way next here on WMBS Trib Live High School Sports Network, the South Union Township Sports Network, and Facebook Live. The Sea Harbor Auto Group is bringing service to your door with the exclusive Sea Harbor Service Valet. Just call to schedule your next service appointment and we'll come pick up your car and drop it off after the work is finished. We'll even wash it for you. Call us today at 724-930-7766 to schedule your next appointment. Pick up and delivery with white glove service. Never wait in a service lounge again. Call us today at 724-930-7766. It's just that easy. Looking for the highest quality products at the lowest prices? 
shop and save on Walnut Hill in Uniontown is the widest selection of brands and the freshest offerings around. They specialize in your family's grocery needs. Save big and sign up for the Shop and Save Perks card to get money-saving benefits and discounts on gas. Shop and save. Walnut Hill Road, Uniontown, open 7 a.m. to 10 p.m. every day. Working hard to offer you the best at Shop and Save because it's the just right thing to do. At Great Veterinary Services, they know your pets are more than just pets. They're family. With the latest techniques and cutting-edge laser surgical technology, your pet will spend less time recovering and more time back on their feet. All four of them. Their goal is giving your pet the very best care. Grace Veterinary Services offers a wide variety of services that includes wellness exams and preventative care, vaccinations, and surgical services such as spay, neuter, and dental. For an appointment, call 724-437-4191 or visit GVS. Fayette Fayette County Recorder of Deeds, John Marietta, would like to wish all of our local high school football teams a great season. His office is located inside the Fayette County Courthouse on East Main Street in Uniontown. To contact Recorder of Deeds, John Marietta, please phone 724-430-1238. That's 724-430-1238. Have a great high school football and fall season from Fayette County Recorder of Deeds, John Marietta. JNS Bridal and Prom Boutique is now open. JNS Bridal will style you for any and every event. Weddings, proms, get-togethers, from newest and trendiest to traditional styles for men, women, and young Mr. and Miss. Let JNS style you head to toe for whatever event life has planned for you. JNS Bridal and Prom Boutique on McClellan Town Road in Uniontown, next to Horanix, 724-550-4104. Like JNS Bridal and Prom Boutique on Facebook and Instagram. Sometime, now or in the future, you'll be ready to update your kitchen, your bathroom, somewhere around the house. When that time comes, call on MB Home Remodeling. Locally owned and operated with more than three decades experience, MB Home Remodeling offers quality Quality work on custom kitchens, bathrooms, towel, woodwork, windows, doors, and more. MB Home Remodeling, 724-970-3498. Online at mb-homeremodeling.com and check out the five-star reviews on Facebook. Did you know that you have a choice for your physical therapy provider? NovaCare Rehabilitation offers same-day appointments and oftentimes you don't need a prescription from your doctor to see us. We will make sure that you are treated as an individual and will work directly one-on-one -on -one with you to help achieve your goals. You have tried the rest. Now try the best. NovaCare, Delaware Avenue in Uniontown. Phone 724-437-0556 to schedule your appointment today. The T. Berry Law Office and Attorney Vincent M. T. Berry specialize in criminal defense, wills and estates, family law, and personal injury. The T. Berry Law Office is located at 84 East Main Street, across the street from the Fayette County Courthouse in Uniontown. When you need to consult an attorney, make your first call to Attorney Vincent M. T. Berry and the T. Berry Law Office. It will be the only call you need to make. Phone 724-430-0300 or visit their website at tberrylawoffice.com. The T. Berry Law Office. Small town, big results. Getting ready to start the third quarter here at Mustang Field at Laurel Highlands High School. The Laurel Highlands Mustangs a 31-14 lead over the Uniontown Red Raiders. Our broadcast tonight also on the South Union Township Sports Network. Brought to you there by Smith Lewis Chess CPAs in Uniontown. Davis and Davis Attorneys at Law, the Sprouse Insurance Group, and Insurance Agent David Hughes. SWGI Specialist, now part of U.S. Digestive Health, the UPMC Rehabilitation Institute, and physical therapist Jim Burns, United Bank, and South Union Township Supervisors Bob Schiffbauer, Rick Vernon, and Jason Scott. Tony, another gentleman that we certainly missed during the high school fall season, one of the bigger supporters of our broadcast over the years, Phil Michael, tragically passed away this past June. I actually just saw Phil's brother Chuck here at the game tonight. We certainly miss Phil. He never missed one of our games. No, a loyal supporter of both of these teams. Yes. And uh, tell you what, yeah, it's a huge loss for, obviously, his family and the community, and he was a good man. Yes, certainly thinking about Phil this time of year. And a high school sports season certainly not the same without Phil during the fall season. So David Aranato to kick off here for Uniontown. Mustangs will work left to right as we describe it here in the third quarter. Antoine Black, the deep man for Laurel Highlands. Mustangs a 31-14 lead over Uniontown. Brian Morozak along with Steve Superick and Tony Hanolan. Another squib kick. This time the Mustangs fielding it there on the far side. Picked up by Scotty McLay. And he'll bring it across midfield down to the Uniontown 49-yard line. We've seen a lot of those tonight, guys. Yeah, we have, and that's a nice little 14-yard return there and puts the Mustangs in 
good field position to start this second half. So they'll spot it on the far hash mark, the Uniontown 49, and Noah Lyon and company will get back to work. And some of the folks, Tony, they weren't with us at halftime, more Lyon's numbers in the first half. Passing-wise, two for five for 70 yards, two touchdowns and one interception. And on the rushing end, leading rusher for the Mustangs, eight carries for 50 yards and a 28-yard touchdown scamper. So the Mustangs come to the line here with the line out of the shotgun. Gary here off to his right. Twin receivers to the near side. That's the wide side of the field as Lyon takes the snap. It's an inside run going to Parker Hoff. And Hoff taking it inside the 45 down close to the 44-yard line. Let's give him five on the carry to bring up second and five. Is yeah, Steve back with us or not? Uh, I've been here the oh, whole time. Oh, we didn't know. We thought you left. <laughs> I, never, I never left. I gave you a chicken sandwich. <laughs> oh, I thought you were stepping out for a while. No, so I was, I've been here the whole time. I just listened to you guys. All right. We, uh -huh. were, we, were, we were trying to ignore you. We thought you were out of the house. No. Yeah, come on now. No, nah, well, I, my mic was off, so I tried to talk a couple times, but you had me off. Oh, so. okay. We thought you were gone. We didn't want somebody just to pick it up and start yeah. talking. Yeah, well, there's nobody <laughs> in my booth over here, so I'm good. Second and five. The back now to the right of Lyon is Gary Ayer, and he'll fake the jet sweep, and Lyon's going to pull it down himself. Inside the 35-30, and Lyon is loose deep. Inside the 20, cut back in the 15, and finally brought down right around the 10-yard line. That's a 34-yard run for Noah Lyon. Another player hurt for the, the Red Raiders. He's got a cramp, it looks like. Seen a lot of the scoreboard just went out, too. Oh, there it goes. Back on. Been a plug got loose. You'll see a lot of the cramping this time of year as well. Remember, it's been cool, though, the last couple of weeks. Well, so maybe the night, heat acclimation you know, night was, it was cool. It was kind of warm at the beginning, but now it's, uh, I don't know what the temperature is, but it feels like it's, uh, it's cooling down. It's been uh, very, very pleasant in the evenings, hasn't it? Yes. Football down to the, officially the 11-yard line, still on the far hash mark. 10.56 left here in the third quarter. Mustangs trying to punch another one in. Up 31 to 14. Lying back out of the shotgun. Gary here to his right. Once again, Black comes in motion. will fake it to Antoine. Another run from Lyon. Bouncing it out on the far Flags. side. Inside the five with a flag on the play. And Lyon stood up right around the four-yard line. Would be a gain of seven, but likely coming Lyon back here. Usually in that spot of the field, uh, the, it'll be a holding Kelly call. On yep. The play. Push the Mustangs back. These penalty numbers, Tony, just keep on adding up, especially on the Laurel Highland side. Well, this should take him over 100. Well, close to, I'm sorry, about 95 yards now. See some cars pulling out a lot, but still a pretty good crowd here. A lot of folks left after the bands played. Yeah. Pretty Gotta filled up when this game started. Probably going home to watch the Pirates. Making a big comeback. Yeah. They were down 5 nothing. They're up 6-5 now. I think they still have a shot at the playoffs. You and Sue sure. still making it off of those World Series tickets. You know it. Folks, just so you, everyone knows, that Tony and I root for the Pirates, and Brian does not. Okay? We'll just stay, state that right now. And, and Tony and I have been asking for World Series tickets if we get there, and we're going to hold them to it, aren't we, Tom? You know it. I can tell you that. <laughs> And Sandy Tracy will probably be going with us. Yep. <laughs> we'll Park take her. We'll, we'll drive her down. <laughs> we're all down at the game together last Friday. First and 19 here. They can get a first down to get another one. Gary Ayer on this handoff, and he's going to bounce it to the near side. Gary wow. Ayer inside the 10, inside the 5. And no Gio flags Gary this time. Ayer from 20 yards out is going to score another Laurel Highlands touchdown for the Mustangs up 37-14 to 14 with 10-23 left in the third quarter. Wow, you can see why that Gary Ayer, just a sophomore, gets some – Time quick feed is kind of reminds me of uh, most of our listeners will know who this is, but remember Joe Morris from the yeah, uh, I remember Joe Morris, number yeah, 20 for, New York Giants, yeah, for the Giants. He went to Syracuse, I believe, and he just kind of a little short, uh, fast back. And uh, you know, those short guys can uh, get hidden in there behind their big linemen, and uh, he just kind of scooted around the side. Good quick feet. Now, bruised her for the extra point, snap down, kick up. Did he flag. sneak it through? He yeah, did. Yeah, there's a flag. flag on it the looks play. like uh, another flag, a late flag yeah, after the gone, first flag. Man. The first flag is either going to be offsides or a false start. So we'll see what that is. But the second flag is going to be some kind of, uh, as Tony would say, chirping or extracurricular activity by someone. I couldn't tell who did what, but. Uh, you mentioned Gary here more than just getting time. He's the top at the top of the depth chart as far as the tailbacks. Yeah, I mean right he's uh, the feature back. Yes, 
I'll tell you what, six carries for 40 yards and two touchdowns. Still sorting this out, but everybody's going off the field. So while they sort things out, oh, so it's probably offsides. For a timeout, 10 23 left here in the yeah. third. It's declined. It says 37 14 on the scoreboard, likely going up to 38 to 14. They oh, might wait. actually do this again. They're going to. Now they called offside Uniontown on Sportsmanlike on. So they, they may move this up a couple feet. Yeah, we'll and we'll keep it right uh, here for They now. might go for two. Well, why would they. Why would, they why would they decline an offsides when the kick was good? So they're going to go for uh, two. That necessitates a re-kick. And after the play, unsportsmanlike conduct against you. Why would you go for two unless you're thinking about? will take that on the kickoff. It doesn't look like they're going for two. Yeah, is still here. But from what Vince said, I guess you have to kick again. I don't understand that either unless it's a pre-snap I mean penalty. if it's offsides and then an after the play penalty yeah well if it's offsides yeah they, the play stops it's correct they actually blew it down that's why we talked about that earlier didn't we yes so they have to kick it again it's 37 14 10 23 left here in the third so he's about an 18 yard extra point now might even one at the original spot clean snap coming back and bruised a We'll send this one through again. So it's 38-14, Laurel Highlands over Uniontown. 10-23 left here in the third, and we're back at 60 on the CR Peronica. Uh, now Baseball we got Sports a Night. player hurt, Brian. That's not Chris Parker, June Jr., a new school year is starting. At Autoland, the new model year is starting, too. 2025 Hyundais are arriving, so we are making great deals on new 2024s left to make room for the 2025 model. I'm listening. A new 2024 Hyundai Elantra SEL or Tucson Limited has 1.99% financing for 60 months plus $500 bonus tax. Or lease an Elantra SE for 36 months for only $189 per month. How about other deals? Packing the kids off the cars or taking a fall vacation? Get away in the newly redesigned 2024 Hyundai Santa Fe with standard third row seating and 2.99% financing for 60 months during Hyundai's getaway sales event. Plus, Hyundai Owner Assurance, America's best warranty, 10-year, 100,000-mile powertrain protection, and three-year free complimentary maintenance included with every new Hyundai purchase. Visit their website, autolandhyundai.com, or stop by their convenient location, 25 East Fayette Street in Uniontown. You'll always pay less to drive the best at Autoland Hyundai. So Laurel Highlands to kick off here for the Uniontown 45, and Bruce is just going to send it into the back of the end zone for a touchback. And Steve, you were mentioning an injury when we were going to break. Yeah, well, it was uh, Baker, but then he popped up and ran off the sideline, so he's okay. Good so, to see. Yep. So now Uniontown will start from their own 20-yard line. The last drive, just a three-play, 49-yard drive. Took a buck 37 off the clock. Drive summary brought to you by Bartok Lawn Care, the experts in lawn care. And actually, Steve, you get your lawn done by Bartok Lawn Care. I do. You get uh, not every week, you know, not the cutting and stuff. We do that, but uh, he does the, uh, the, you know, the couple times a year with the fertilizer and the aerification and and, and all that. And uh, if you've seen Steve's lawn, it looks pretty good. Yeah, <laughs> not as good as this field does, but uh, there's a golf course down uh, that he uh, has a little bit to do with, and that uh, that's always in pretty good shape. But now it's. Uh, you know, hey, you want to have your grass green, especially with all this heat. Uh, mine survived pretty good because of uh, all the treatments, so I was pretty happy with uh, the service. Good to hear. Jared Bartok and Bartok Lawn Care. First and 10 for Uniontown for their own 20-yard line. A little pitch going back to Walker, and he's going to cut back on the far side, make it a positive play, getting four, maybe five, up to the 25-yard line. We have second down and a long five. But 10.09 left here in the third quarter. We had a long second quarter, especially the last three or four minutes. And now yeah, that second quarter Walker dragged might be on. Down. Yeah, there's a, he's down there. Looks like a cramp again when they hold up his leg like that. But he's, Walker in the ball here, here. And he is on the sideline, but he's so close to the field that they're going to have to stop to get him up. And, uh, you know, they're not going to drag him over, but he's... Uh, Looks like you know how they when the guy has a cramp, they're holding his leg up. So, so. I'm going to stop it here with 10:02 left in the third quarter. Laurel Highlands up 38 to 14. Injury time up. Rocky by the UPMC Rehab Institute, the leaders in physical therapy. You can contact physical <laughs> therapist Jim Burns at 724-437-7500. The UPMC Rehabilitation Institute relief is closer than you think. We'll take a quick. 30-second timeout here, 38-14 Mustangs over the Red Raiders. Here on WBS, the Trail Live High School Sports Network and Facebook Live. 
Brewston Chiropractic Studio is the new chiropractic office in town. Located inside Spin Unlimited, just behind the Texas Roadhouse, Dr. Stephen Lint and Dr. Brooke Sova are well-versed in the latest chiropractic and soft tissue techniques to help you get out of pain and functioning at your best. Call 724-912-6505 or go online at www.brewstonwellness.com for more information or to schedule your appointment. 10.02 left here in the third quarter. Walker still being attended to on the Union Sound sidelines. Picked up four on first down. Another. Well, now they're dragging him. <laughs> I was kidding around. They're actually dragging him off to the, away from the field so they can. Uh, Any one of those like little stretchers like they use in soccer matches with the guys. Yeah, he's just, uh, it, I mean, again, we're not uh, doctors or trainers up here, but it looks like a typical cramping situation. They're just stretching his hamstring out. And Dugan back under center on the second and six from the Union Town 24-yard line. Pitch going back here on the near side, and that's Tory Grooms getting drugged down back of the 19-yard line. So what Walker gained on first down, Grooms lost, and then some on second down. Five, maybe six-yard loss there. Grooms on the carry. Bring up third down and 11. Parker Hoff, another tackle, Steve, for Laurel Highlands. He's had a great game for the Mustangs tonight. Yeah, well, he's a good player, and he's a good, uh, you know, he's uh, – He's, he's a ball hawk out there. He just kind of sniffs out the ball. And they're kind of running away from the Baker. So I don't know if they're afraid of him, but they just keep running into, into Hoff. And, well, Hoff's in the middle, so he's just chasing. But a lot of these plays are going away from Baker's side. A third and 11 now. Another flag or another That's going to be the lay of game. Play clock was at zero. Yeah. Wow, this is uh, uh, third and 11 becomes a third and 16. Reminder to stay tuned during our post-game show for our super play of the game, brought to you by First Federal Savings and Loan Association of Green County. We'll have a radio replay of one of the top plays that changed the tone of this game. Of course, our final stats brought to you by Peach and Pharmacy inside the downtown Connellsville Peach and Market. Third and 15 now for Uniontown from their own 14-yard line. And Duke can fumble the football, trying to regain. Steps up, looks to run. And who else? Parker Hoff slamming him down. And Tristan Baker was in the vicinity as well. Yeah. That'll bring up fourth down. And again, you had the Red Raider punter, Nathan Searock, having some leg issues. Let's see if Searock's going to be able to punt here for Uniontown. Well, he's he going, is out there. Yeah, he's, he's good. A, yep. Good to see. And he's actually had a couple of good punts. No gain on the play. See if uh, Black can catch this on a fly. He should be able to provide the uh, Mustangs with some pretty good field position if he can catch this one on a run and get upfield. He's actually standing in Uniontown territory, the Red Raiders 45 yard line. Love a high snap going back there to Sea Rock. Yeah, Did a nice job pulling it bounce. down. And on a couple of bounces, Black's just going to let it go. I think he kind of had the urge to step up and try to pick it up, but it's going to be down here at the 48-yard line of Laurel Highlands. So step aside for a quick 30-second timeout, 38-14. Mustangs over the Red Raiders are back at 30 here on the CR Prada Group High School Sports Night. The Catholic War Veterans Post 1669 in Hopwood is a proud supporter of local high school sports. In fact, their annual charity golf outing has contributed dozens of scholarships to Fayette County students. The Catholic War Veterans Post 1669 in Hopwood, wishing all of our local high school football teams a great season. 38-14, Laurel Highlands over Uniontown. We heard that ad for the charity golf outing at the Catholic War Veterans. Tony, you're going to be participating in that. Nice outing. Yes. Very nice outing. A big crowd, and <laughs> they do a great job. It's a lot of fun. That's coming up on a couple of weeks? September 21. Okay. Are there any room for teams still available? I, I don't know that. We'll have to find out for Talk you. Talk to Teddy Musica about that. He'll definitely... If there's room, he'll get you in. And a little handoff there to Parker Hoff right up the middle. He's carrying the pow with him for Laurel Highlands first down. He might add about four or five Red Raiders on his back there, Steve. Yeah. Yeah, he just uh, bulldozed his way forward, grinding the legs, and he had a handful of Mustang teammates pushing him along, and that was a, just a power run there by the Mustangs. We're going under eight minutes left here in the third quarter. Still 38-14, yeah. Laurel Highlands over Uniontown. Feels like time-wise it should be the fourth quarter by now, but it's uh, this game is – I kind of jinxed it in that first quarter. I said all these runs by the Red Raiders was going to make it a fast game. But the that eye was, jazzed it for us, Steve. That was What's wrong with you? You should know better. 
That was definitely an eye, Jazz. It's week zero. Even you make mistakes this early in the season. That was one there. Here's Lyon pulling it down, looking to run inside the 40. And Lyon breaks another tackle inside the 35. He's still a loose blocker out in front. Lyon inside the 25 and finally run out of bounds oh, at the 24-yard line gain of 18 on the play. Another Red Raider down. That's another, another late, late flag. flag. Let's see what happens here. Well, down for Uniontown is Michael Thomas, 22. That How many was rushing yards, Tony, does Lyon have tonight? He just went over the 100-yard mark. 10 carries, 102 yards. That looked like a late hit, but that flag came from their head referee who was in the middle of the field, and that's not his call, I wouldn't think. But let's see what he calls, unless he saw something there. But that was definitely a late hit by the Red Raiders. And sportsman oh, no, against, against Laurel Highlands. Highland. Against Laurel Highlands, so wow. something happened. So the play will stand, and they'll actually mark this off where the play ended because of a dead ball penalty. Dead ball. Well, the Mustangs also just went over 100 yards in penalties, too. 11, <laughs> 11 penalties for 110 yards. So the penalty total and the rushing total for Lyon, both over I still think on the same play. If I'm Coach Colasar, I mean, this game's in hand, right? You would think. I'd be comfortable right now. Uh, yeah, I'm pretty comfortable. I gotta, I gotta believe I'd let uh, Lyon throw it around a little bit. Yeah. You got, you gotta, you know, get that kid. He's got a good arm. Just get him comfortable. Let him throw some down passes over the middle. See what happens. If he makes a mistake, it's not going to kill you tonight. Yeah. Have fun with it. Yeah. They push it back now to the Uniontown 40-yard line. It's still first and ten because it was a dead ball foul. So you don't lose any. Down yardage there as Lyon oh. takes the snap out of the shotgun, rolls to the near side, throws on the run, looking to air it out. Black tried a one-handed catch, and he might have pushed off there. He on definitely, the he definitely pushed off uh, like the Red Raiders scored a touchdown on one of those, but he didn't make the catch. But uh, that was definitely a fish up. I guess surprise, surprise, another flag. Yeah, that was actually thrown right around the backfield. The backfield yeah, so yeah. that's probably, probably going to be a holding call. I'm guessing. That's, uh, I didn't see anything, but uh, yeah. they're going backwards. Is holding against Laurel Highland. They'll push it back to midfield. That's the holding penalty. 10 yards against the Mustangs. That penalty total goes up even higher. So. 120. 12 Think about this. Lion ran the ball around the left end and ran, got all the way, what, around the 15, 20 yard line? Correct. And then they called a penalty on the Mustangs, and all of a sudden now another penalty. I've had 25 and, and yards in penalties. You have the yeah. 15 yard personal foul and then the 10 yard yeah. holding penalty. Now it's first and 20. You go on an inside run again to Parker Hoff, and Hoff, look out when he's face running mask. the football, might have a face mask. We'll see if it's called. Nope. Hoff gets 10 down to the 40. He gets. 10 of those penalty yards back. Now be second and 10 with 6.30 left here in the third quarter. Laurel Highlands on top, 38 to 14. So we had a play there without a penalty being called. And there maybe should have been one called. <laughs> and at this rate, Tony and I are not going to make our dinner reservation. No, I think it's, <laughs> it's getting pretty late. We're still in the third quarter. Yeah. Been playing football for a little over two our, hours uh, now. We're going to venue, Tony, I think. <laughs> well, that's been done before. Yeah. Second and 10 now from the Uniontown 40. Line out of the shotgun now with Gary Air to his left. Twin receivers to the far side. Single coverage to the near side as Line takes the snap. Play fake to Gary Air. Run a little option and a pass forward there to Antoine Black. We'll have enough for a Mustang first down. Cut back to the 25. Gets down to the 22 for a gain of 18. So That'll that was an interesting, interesting play. That was almost a pitch sideways. And that could have that could either go down. I don't know the, who's got the official stats. That was a pass forward from my perspective. Uh, Every bit of. It looked like it was going straight across to me, but uh, we'll give him a forward we'll, we'll give him a forward pass. Nah, it was Mustang first down. Yeah, Black had it. He probably was about a yard ahead from our vantage point here. Mustang showed a lot of good motion on some of these rollouts as well tonight, guys. Good sign uh, for the season. The, uh, Red Raider. Defensive linemen have got their kind of on their knees. They're getting gassed yeah, a little they look bit now. Like they're a little gassed, yeah. You got Parker Hoff running at you a little bit. He's a guy that's going to wear you down, and he has the football right now. And Hoff bullying forward. Another Mustang first down, taking it down to the 11 yard line. Gain of 11 on the play to move the sticks once again for the Mustangs. No matter how much they run those uh, wind sprints and the, you know, the up and downs and all that stuff during the summer camp. 
and nothing prepares you for a game action. You're putting out so much energy on each play, which you don't do in practice. I mean, you put energy out in practice, but you know, the game speed is different, and they're they, you know they're they're really giving it their all. And it's uh, you know late in the second half, you see some guys that are uh, going to be a little winded. It's where you get worn down. Yeah. First and ten from the Uniontown 11 yard line. And we talked about the rosters are not deep. I mean, Another flag coming in here before the snap. You still had time on the game clock. And you look at that Mustang sideline, guys, and you see a lot of young <laughs> players, short, you know, kids that are just not big as the guys that are out there starting. There you go. Mustang's got about 23, 24 guys that they rotate in, and that's about it. No flag on the play. They picked it up. Lyon fumbles the snap. Hoff actually picks it up. He'll surge forward and get down close to the five-yard line. He's not down yet and finally knocked down right around the fives. He got five, maybe six there to bring up about second down and four. Nice little regain there after what could have been disastrous on the Laurel Highland side. Hoff picks up a yeah. fumble, advances it to the... Officially roll it down. I think you're about the six on the official spot, and they'll roll it second and four. It's still a gain of six and get a first down right around the two. 4-11 left on a running clock in the third quarter. The two schools cheerleading squads get together here at midfield. Yeah. Hoff now with seven carries for 64 yards. Trying to add to it here. Lion hand off Hoff again with the hole and Parker Hoff lowers the shoulder and gets into the end zone from six yards out for another Laurel Highlands touchdown. That's Parker Hoff. That increases the Mustang lead now to 44 to 14. Getting a couple points away here, Steve, from a running clock. It's would go into effect at 35 here in the second half. We have 352 left here in the third quarter. Awaiting Brewsda's extra points. And the Mustangs a solid start to the 2024 campaign. Kick is blocked, but Green another flags. flag. I wonder if that's another offsides, and that'll have to be a re-kick. Now you have fans starting to make their way out with a lead at 30. Another flag. Tell this is right. We, I know we've had some games where we've had a lot of penalties, but this has got to be close to some kind of record. It's getting pretty close. Running out of ink. Half the distance. That was a seven-play, 53-yard drive that took 425 off the clock in the drive summary brought to you by Bartok Lawn Care. Lawn Care done right. Bruce to try and increase the lead to 31 now with the extra point. Clean snap coming back, put down. Bruce does kick up on the way and good. So it's a 45-14 lead for Laurel Highlands over Uniontown. 352 left here in the third. We're back at 60 on the CR Prada Group High School Sports Night. McClure and Wolf, certified public accountants. Your full-service accounting firm serving the tri-state area since 1926 is conveniently located at 538 Morgantown Street in Uniontown. Offering tax, accounting, auditing, payroll, management advisory, and estate planning services, McClure and Wolf is recognized as an industry leader in providing their clients with quality professional services. To find out more about their services, visit them online at www.mcclurewolfcpas.com or give them a call at 724-437-2000 for McClure and Wolf, certified public accountant. Good times and good food. It's all at Potter's Bar and Grill on Morgantown Street in Uniontown, family owned and operated. Potter's has been a staple in the Uniontown community since 1950. So get out of the house and make your next night out at Potter's Bar and Grill on Morgantown Street in Uniontown. Call them up at 724-438-9835. That's 724-438-9835 or visit Potter's on Facebook. We'll see you at Potter's. Bruzda sending it away again for the Mustangs into the end zone for another touchback. And you're right, Steve. He has a heck of a leg. Yeah, I was yeah, watching him warm ups. He's pretty good. He's got a nice leg. Uh, and he was Bruce kicking those uh, field goals off the ground, which is uh, really good for the next level. You may saw Harry Radcliffe, who graduated here two years ago, playing football at the next level as well. Laurel Island starting to become a kicking factory. Yeah. Looking forward to seeing Bruce out on the pitch on Tuesday night against Thomas Jefferson. The pitch. Yes. <laughs> Soccer terminology. <laughs> that's it's why still it, not zero. That's, that's, Tony, that's why it went over our head. <laughs> Tony and I wouldn't watch a soccer game if they were playing in our backyard. <laughs> See the Columbus crew playing in the League's Cup final 
tomorrow against uh, LAFC. You going to watch that? What time's that on? Uh, 7.30? Sure. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to DVR in case I miss it. I think Pee Wee's Big Adventure is on. Oh. Tony, Tony and I will be watching the Pirates tomorrow night. Man, you guys are playing. killing me. <laughs> Columbus is actually the first team, I think, in North American soccer to make it to, with it, to, make it to three finals within a 10-month period. They were in the MLS Cup final back in December and played in the Champions League final against the team from Mexico in the spring as well. As Grooms gets one here, I know you don't care. And Grooms yeah. run out of bounds after... Close to a 10-yard gain. I'd love to see the Riverhounds eventually make it to the MLS. I know there was talk about that when they built Highmark Stadium when it first opened up. They have room for expansion, but haven't really seen any headway as far as that occurring anytime soon. Well, they're still waiting to build the indoor uh, NASCAR track, too. <laughs> that, was, that was like early 2000s, I think. <laughs> I know. I heard, that, some, that I heard one of my uh, <laughs> radio shows. I don't know. I was driving around every day. I'd drive around, and I was listening. And they were talking about that. Do you realize the like, air filtration system they'd have to have to make that possible? Yeah. Like You'd have so many fumes inside of there. And they, apparently it was going to happen, but then somebody ran out of money. Here's Dugan scrambling, a little quick out. Grooms has it here at the 35, trying to shake and bake his way forward. He's going to gain a little here after the catch, close to Uniontown first down, they, right around the 40 yard. They were going to do that at the old airport runway, yeah, right? That was back yeah. like early 2000s when yeah. NASCAR's back in its heyday. A lot of folks are comparing this game to NASCAR, like NASCAR starts their season with the Daytona 500. We start with one of our biggest games of the year, Uniontown and Laurel Highlands. Still a lot of people here. Yes. 45-14 Mustangs, 322 left in the third Rodney quarter. Gallagher's still here. He's yes. down below us to our left. And great to see Rodney coming back, you know, graduated two years ago, still coming back, supporting the high school. And the young kids, they still love him around the area. Oh, yeah, he's taking pictures, signing autographs. I actually talked to Rodney's uncle at the dog park about a week ago. He said he was watching Rodney's dog while he was down at football camp. Little puppy. Had fun playing with Murray. It was a little run. And that's not going anywhere on the Uniontown side there for Walker. We mentioned Jamari Walker, the son of Arnold Walker, who played at Uniontown while going back, Steve, probably about 20 years ago. Heck of a back. I don't think it was that long ago, but... Certainly a thousand yard single season rusher. A little stoppage here at 234 left in the third quarter. Not sure what this is all about. No timeout signal. Don't see a penalty out there. We'll be second and 15. And a lot of stoppages here tonight. Yeah. I think they're trying to agree on the spot. On second and 14, instead of second and 15, they moved it up about a half a yard. And Dugan back out of the shotgun. Protector back off to his left. Mustang showing blitz. Twin receivers to each side. Might have had movement there on the slot receiver on the right. Oh, That's man, gonna be a penalty. these guys. It was just a little hitch forward yeah. there from C-Rock, and they're going to call him for it. The officials are getting flag happy now. Really Fellas, they got to... They got to realize it's 45 14. You know. Well, he did move. I, got I know. Yeah, I know. Yeah. Steve, all of our broadcasts this year back on Breeze Line and CU TV, Armstrong Channel 61. Great to continue our partnership with Gary Smith from CU TV. Always done a great job with the South Union Township Sports Network in the past as well. Picking up all of our broadcasts. If you missed the live feed or maybe can't access Facebook or YouTube, you can watch them during the week as well on CU TV Armstrong Channel 61, Breeze Line Channel 17. That's a pass thrown down in a double coverage intended there for Winfrey. Tipped and almost intercepted. You had two Mustangs right around it. 13, Jonah Coleman and five. Yeah. Alfie Callaway. He had his hands on it, thinking about taking it back to the other end zone, but uh, as he jumped up, he got tripped up by one of his own guys. There was a collision and he's, uh, his feet got tangled up, probably uh, prevented him from That's catching that football. Third and, third and 19 now third with 156 left in the third quarter, 45-14. Laurel Highlands over Uniontown. Brian Morozak with Steve Super and Tony Hanola tonight. Billy Dice behind the camera on our Facebook Live video feed. And Nick Barczyk back at Center. Davis and Davis, attorneys of the law studios. You're talking about big pirate fans. That's Nick back in the studio tonight. And another oh, one. Nick, I didn't even get to talk to Nick at the game the other night. He was in the front row of our uh, He was too focused. Spot. He was yeah, keeping he was score. Keeping he was score in the game. 
He didn't want to talk to you. Yeah. Timeout Union Town. Take one as well. 156 left here in the third. 45 14 Mustangs over the Red Raiders. We're back at 60 on the CR Piranha Group High School Sports Night. Introducing Target Safety Solutions Division, LLC, because Sid Silva and Son Body and Fender Repair is concerned about our local community. Target Safety Solutions was born. Located beside the Ted Sova shop at 94 Atlas Road in Uniontown, Target Safety Solutions specializes in vehicle calibration after a vehicle is involved in a collision. Target Safety Solutions can perform vehicle alignments, state inspections, minor mechanical repairs, including brakes and suspension work, as well as tire replacement, and also inspects trailers up to 10,000 pounds. Their alignment machine can accommodate lowered vehicles, dually trucks, and box trucks. Vehicles are now made with many safety features to keep their occupants safe. That's why Target Safety Solutions originated. Their state-of-the-art facility is open from 8 a.m. to 4.30 p.m., Monday through Friday. They are currently taking new customers and accepting commercial and fleet accounts as well. Nick Patricelli and Mike Thomas are ready to provide you with fast, friendly, professional service. Call Nick at Target Safety Solutions, 724-550-4403. Third and 19 here for Uniontown. Dugan flushed out of the pocket on the near side. Pulls it down, looks to run, and gets a couple yards back up to the 35. Pick up of three on the play to bring up fourth and 16, and the Red Raiders will have to send this one away with another punt. The Mustang, Steve, an opportunity here. If they would get a score on this drive, you'd have a quick clock the rest of the way. That, uh... <laughs> that might get you to do don't do it, quick. Sue. That would probably please a few people, but you never know. <laughs> don't do I mean, it. You gotta. <laughs> they just want the kids to have a good time and play some good football out there. That's all. Sea Rock well, back at the twenty-four. That's still Black back there. They sub him out. Looks like they subbed him out. Yeah. Clean snap coming back to Sea Rock. Pretty good kick. And on the run, it's going to be scooped up there Whoa. by the Mustangs at Jonah Coleman. Oh, they're going to fire a flag. Wow. It's going to be a horse collar. Yeah, yeah but I, you know what? Coleman. It's a horse collar, but they, he grabbed him the front of the jersey. Now, Scary Smitley on the tackle. Didn't it look like he got the front of the jersey, yeah. not the back of the jersey, and you could grab the front. Those are sometimes tough to pick up from an official's perspective because yeah. they're real bang, bang. And a lot of times, you know, you look at the officials on the NFL or the college games, and whether they make the call or not, they look what appears sometimes on a quick bang-bang situation as a horse collar actually is just them grabbing the jersey or maybe just grabbing the front. You have another, I think it's Sea rock down again back at the 25. So we've won 40 left here in the third, 45-14 Mustangs. When they sort all this out, we'll take a quick 30-second timeout on the CR Piranha Group High School Sports tonight. Bad hair day, bad day at the office. Bad day behind the wheel. Hey, stuff happens, even to the best of us. At least your car insurance rate doesn't have to take a hit. Get Erie Rate Lock from Erie Insurance. Gives you a great rate that stays put until you change a car, driver, or your address. Plus, seriously good service. Now that's something to smile about. Your Erie agent in Uniontown and Ross Traver Township is Sprouls Insurance Group. 724-437-9812 or go to SprowlsInsurance.com. Erie Rate Lock does not guarantee continued insurance coverage and is not available in all states. They did call the horse collar tackle against Uniontown and Smitley. Sea Rock still down right around the Uniontown 27-yard line. He's been cramping up a lot tonight. The line of scrimmage will be the Laurel Highlands 47. Mustangs on top of the Red Raiders 45-14 with 140 left here in the third quarter. Now they're going to carry Sea Rock off the field. If Tory Grooms assisting one of the training staff and now also coming over there. Kyler Tibby as well to assist. Yeah, next week for Laurel Highlands, let the road to Beaver County to Mo Rubenstein Stadium and take on the Ambridge Bridgers. Coverage starts with the Sprouse Insurance Group pregame show at 6, opening kick set for 7. We'll also have coverage on the WMBS Facebook page of Union Sounds Hall of Fame game against Perry from Bill Power Stadium. That game also kicking off at 7 o'clock. Low snap coming back. We have a new quarterback here for Laurel Highlands. This is Nick Crouch, number 4. And Crouch on the run, getting back to the line of scrimmage welcome, for no game. Welcome to the Uniontown uh, Laura Hollins game, yes. Mr. Crouch. He got smashed as he got in there like a little pinball, and he was fortunate to hold on to the football. And he looks a little, a little dinged up. Yeah, he's actually wearing the number that Antoine Black wore a season ago, number four. Black wearing 28 this year. No gain on the play. Again, interesting, Steve. We mentioned it during the Sprouse Insurance Group pregame show. A lot of rumors back during the basketball season that Black was going to transfer to IMG Academy. That never happened. 
Mustang certainly happy to have him back in a football uniform here for the 2024 season. Here's Guerriere on a run right up the middle. Plugged up well there defensively by Uniontown. Now bring up third down and ten. Final minute of this third quarter. Mustangs on top, 45-14. to 14. Lead at 31 at this juncture of the well, game. Well, now they waited to crank the play clock until inside, it got inside a 35 seconds, so now they can... Uh, they don't have to run a play. They don't have here. to run a play, right. And so I don't think can. they are. They're going to come to the sidelines. Up 45-14 to 14 over Uniontown. After three quarters of football. So we'll step aside for the fourth, a 31-point Mustang lead over Uniontown here in the CR Parada Group High School Sports Night. Where can you go these days and have your gas pump for you? Oil checked and windshield cleaned? Joby's Golf, that's where. Joby's Golf is conveniently located at the corner of Fayette and Basin Boulevard. Joby's Golf is a fast, friendly, full-service gas station that has been serving the Uniontown area for 50 years. Joby's Golf offers lockout services, a fenced-in storage lot, and it's a AAA 24-hour car and light truck towing service. Call 724-438-0681. Looking for a dentist? Dr. Michael George and Dr. Ashley Parker of George Dental Associates, a Uniontown staple, has over 40 years experience treating patients of all ages. Their caring, professional team of dentists and their staff offer a full range of dental services, including restorative, preventative, pediatric, cosmetic, and so much more. Visit georgedentalassociates.com today. That's georgedentalassociates.com. And find out how they can enhance your smile through the art of dentistry. Wishing the Mustangs a successful season. Ready for the start of the fourth quarter here at Mustang Field. Brian Morozak with Steve Superkin. Tony Hanola, 31-point lead for Laurel Highlands over Uniontown. Some of the second-teamers now in <coughs> on the Laurel Highlands side. Mustangs now working right to left as we describe it. Nick Crouch and now in a quarterback for the Mustangs. He's going to send a man in motion, and flags come in here. Another wow. pre-snap penalty. What's the latest on our uh, well, penalty let's stats? See. That would be number 13 for 125 yards. Still got a shot at 200 tonight. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so let's see. On both sides, we've got 26 penalties in this game so far. Tell it's week zero. So now third and 15 after the last infraction against the Mustangs. High man in motion. High snap goes over Crouch's head. We'll try to fall back on it. Ball is loose. Still a scrum on here right around the 19-yard line. Red Raiders are saying they have it. There's a fumble on the play. No, they do. Union Town's football. So Union Town will have it here at the Laurel Highlands 20-yard line, 11:49 left in regulation. Laurel Highlands up 45 to 14. We'll step aside for a quick 30 here on the CR Prada Group High School Sports Night. Amidar Transit, locally owned and operated by the Scott family, have been helping students travel to school safely in the Fayette County area for more than four years. Amidar Transit is a proud sponsor of Laurel Highlands High School Sports and wishes all the area teens good luck. For more information about MR Transit, call them 724-439-3164. 724-439-3164. Or stop by their office at 253 South Mount Vernon Avenue in Uniontown. So the Red Raiders looking for a score here to start the fourth quarter. They're down 31 at 45 to 14. Tony and I were worried about making our dinner plans. I think you're going to have to have trouble making your tea time tomorrow, Brian. <laughs> yeah, the way this one's going. <laughs> little inside run here on the Uniontown side, inside the 20, and moving the pile here forward. That's Arnold, or check that, uh, Walker, Jamari Walker, taking it Walker down to the 13-yard line. Gain of seven there Fred for Biden Walker, and that was a nice little run after the initial hit there for Jamari Walker, the son of Arnold Walker. Gain of Six on the play. Second down and three. Second down. Line of scrimmage, the Laurel Highlands 13-yard line. You can see the way the Red Raiders are <coughs> kind of walking to the line of scrimmage uh, just to look a little a little worn out right now, don't they? I think everybody's starting to get a little worn out. 
Yeah, the penalties are doing it and to everybody. Two and a half hours into this game. Little motion, low snap. Walker gets the carry again here on the Union Sound side, getting a yard, maybe two. He's trying to keep that pile moving once again. Like a little rugby match down there. Give him two. Be third down and short. Have to send happy birthday wishes out to Laurel Highlands basketball coach John Smith. Celebrating a birthday <laughs> today. So happy birthday, Coach Smith. Looking forward to seeing the offseason improvements of your Mustang program come early December. Both Laurel Highlands and Union Towns basketball programs moving up to 5A in the offseason. Seeing some new opponents this year. The third and short. Dugan repositioning. Jamari Walker off to his left. Now a little motion here from Grooms, but Walker's going to get the football, and he'll spin his way to a Uniontown first down inside the five-yard line. Guy's getting a lot of uh, yardage after the initial hits here as of late on both sides of the football. Yeah, that's uh, a lot of scrums, you know, yes. like rugby scrums going down. Under 10 minutes left in regulation. They'll officially put it down here at the five-yard line. Ball is now spotted at the Be a first and goal here for Union Island. Town. First and 10. Reminder to stay tuned after the game for the Trib Live scoreboard show with Don Rebel going up until 11 o'clock tonight. Catch up on all the action around the WPI also streaming on our WMBS Facebook page. That show's already gotten underway. A little miscommunication Fumble. there on Fumble. the handoff between Mustangs Dugan and Walker it. and Laurel Highlands. You're right, Steve. I don't think Walker ever football. got the football. So Laurel Highlands gets it back. 9, 34 left in regulation. Laurel Highlands 45, Uniontown 14. We're back in 30 here on the CR Parada Group High School Sports Night. You know, summer fun can be quite rough on your lawn. What with all the brown patches, stubborn weeds and such. And taking care of all that isn't to make you feel defeated, doesn't it? Well, don't worry, because Bartok Lawn Care is here to help. Offering custom blended fertilization and weed control programs to revive your tired lawn. Also running incredible fall aeration and overseeding specials for new and existing customers. And they're locally owned and operated. Contact Jared at 724-366-3303 or visit BartokLawnCare.com. Back here at Mustang Field, 934 left in regulation. Laurel Highlands 45, Union Sound 14. Nick Crouch remaining in at quarterback for Laurel Highlands. Line of scrimmage, the Mustangs 10-yard line after Laurel Highlands recovered the Union Town fumble on the exchange there between Nick Crouch and Jamari Walker. This is an inside run on the Laurel Highlands side going nowhere. We're seeing some substitutions now on both sides of the football, and that one went to Aiden Bell getting his first carry of the night wearing... Now Number two. Drop for a loss of one. Officially ruled it a loss of one to bring up second down and 11. Ball now spotted. Yeah. It's just <clears throat> running the football now to try to get this Long clock ahead. moving. I think everybody, coaches, players, and officials sense that it's been a long game. You thought it might be a quick one coming in, Steve. We knew that Uniontown was primarily going to run the ball tonight. Uh, the Expected first to see drive, a, thought, we thought they were going to run the ball and the clock was going to move. It's been more of the penalties that have yes. slowed things down more than anything. Here's Aiden Bell again with the carry, this time getting two, maybe three, forward to the 12-yard line to bring up third down and eight. Down 8.40 left in regulation. Laurel Islands 45, Uniontown 14. Again, the Red Raiders next week host Perry for the Hall of Fame game, 7 o'clock start. You can watch it along with the Hall of Fame ceremony on the WMBS Facebook page. And again, two ties to WMBS being inducted next week as well. Our cameraman tonight, Billy Dice, his wife, Dr. Nicole Dice, youngest PA superintendent in the state of Pennsylvania, and our own Arnie Amber going into the Uniontown Hall of Fame as well. Congratulations to both Nicole and Arnie and all of the inductees next weekend. The Mustangs on the road at Ambridge taking on the Bridgers as Crouch looking to throw here in trouble, trying to get out of it, lost I'm the ball, trying to hop back on it, and fell on it right around the one-yard line. So the Mustangs will have to pump this one out of their own end zone. But we'll have Laurel Highlands and Ambridge from Mo Rubenstein Stadium next Friday. Sprouts Insurance Group pregame show starting at 6. Tony's going to join me, Josh Kreisick behind the camera. We'll have a lot of fun, Tony. Josh was saying today how much fun you are. That was the first time last Friday that he's had a time to spend with you, and he said <laughs> you were really entertaining. 
Is I think, that right? Yes. I think everybody says there's any yeah. sort of time with you. So. Lightning in a ball. They never say that about me. They don't say. They that call about me. you Mr. Effervescent. That's <laughs> what they. they <laughs> 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 so this could be interesting. Punt for Bruzda, out of his own end zone. Line of scrimmage, the one yard line. So he's about 11 yards deep here. And uh, you have notorious Grooms, Grooms is way too far back. He needs to move up another 10 yards. He get a run forward though. Yeah, but he, he's he's too far back. That ball's going to bounce in front of him. Play clock down to three, down to two. High snap. Brewster brings it down and got it away. Yeah, see. You're right, Steve. It's going to bounce. That's why you're the punting expert. And Grooms is going to let see, it go. He needs to be up there. He should have been at the 30-yard line and caught that on the run. He'd have had it inside. The, he might have scored if he'd have caught that in the air. That's why you're the special teams expert. They down at the 48. Ends up goes a 47-yard punt for Brewster. 6.46 left in regulation. Red Raiders getting the football back. We come back 45-14. Laurel Highlands over Uniontown back in 30 on the CR Prada Group High School Sports Night. NovaCare Rehabilitation in Uniontown is accessible for all of your recovery needs. New at NovaCare is Pelvic Floor Physical Therapy, a specialized program to treat patients with pelvic floor dysfunction related to bladder, bowel, sexual function, and pregnancy postpartum. These issues can affect both women and men and include urinary frequency, urgency and incontinence, pelvic pain, constipation, IBS, menopause, painful periods, and more. Call 724-437-0556 for an appointment in Uniontown. Personalize your care with NovaCare. 6.46 left in regulation. Laurel Highlands 45, Uniontown 14, and Tony Jimmy Williams saying another season of the timely offerings of Tony Hanola. They love you. <laughs> yeah. Hey, thanks, Jimmy. Thanks for listening. Surprised you're still at it when it's 45-14. But. Yeah, we had requests asking where Gary Frankhauser's at. Again, Gary will be on the call for the Uniontown Perry game with TJ Stefano next week if you're missing Gary this week. But, again, congratulations to the Frankhauser family, Gary's son Chase, getting married this weekend. And a nice run down the field here on the Uniontown side from Michael Thomas. And Thomas is still loose. Down to the 20. Thomas doing a lot of running. Ended up picking up 28 yards there for the Red Raiders. No flags. No flags. How about that? <laughs> Thomas on the and Union Town, the first and ten of the Laurel Highlands, 20. With 6.28 left here in regulation. Get a score everybody. here like our Pirates, Tony. They, you're never out of it until it's over. You get a score here, make it 45-21. <laughs> Onside kick, do it again, you know, might get back in this game. Well, if they get the same type of relief pitching as the Pirates, they can get back in. Yeah. Dugan under center. You guys are living in some kind of dream world over there. Uh-uh. First and 10, Dugan. Hand off on the jet sweep. Coming here to Tory Grooms. A little stiff arm inside the 15. And He's Tory in. Grooms is going to house this one for a Uniontown touchdown from 20 yards out. So the basketball guys getting it done for Uniontown tonight. A pair of touchdowns from Calvin Winfrey. Now one from Notorious Grooms. Cuts into the Aura Highlands lead at 45 to 20 with 5.51 left here in the third quarter. Now they'll bring on for the Red Raiders extra point here, David Aranito. Aranito seems like a pretty big guy for a kicker. Yeah, Pirates 165, Tom. How about that? Bednar got out of trouble then? I take it. I, I couldn't watch it. Well, this Aranito's kick's no gonna good. miss the extra point wide oh, left. We need that. So the score yeah. remains 45-20. Laurel so. Highlands over <laughs> Union Town with 551. Five minutes Left here in regulation. In Mustangs by 25. We're back at 60 on the CR Parada Group High School Sports Night. Mark On Building Supply has provided the tri-state area with ready-mix concrete and building supplies for decades. Family-owned and operated and built on a foundation of trust, integrity, and exceptional quality, Mark On is your local leader for ready-mix concrete, precast, lumber, tools, electrical, plumbing, lawn care, and general building supply needs. Visit the store in Markleysburg or call Mark On today at 724-329-5542. Mark On Building Supply, your one-stop shop for all your home building and construction needs. When you are looking to make some extra cash for your aluminum cans, visit Cherokee Recycling, where aluminum can is king. Cherokee Recycling is open Monday through Friday, 9 till 5, and Saturdays, 8 till 12 noon, closed Sundays and holidays. Give Marcus or Rags a call today at 724-439-3228 for Cherokee Recycling, where recycling makes the most sense. 
Morrow Highlands 45, Uniontown 20. Guys, no doubt onside kick coming here. Well, the Mustangs ready for it. They got a lot of linebackers and receivers up on the front line. Normally you have some big guys up there, but uh, you got Hoff and Baker and um, some, some, some skilled players. One thing about this opening game, these guys really got to experience a lot of different situations. Some of the stuff that we've seen tonight. And the score is in a hurry. Bunch of onside kicks. And ran it to, no, he's going to, a little pooch on the far side. It's going to go hit out of bounds. Play. Did it yeah. clip a Mustang there going out? That might have, but. Uh, you had Callaway over like there. It was going to stay in bounds, and then. Uh, flag. Yeah, flag, flag, flag it because it's out of bounds, yeah. Last drive, just a two-play 48-yard drive for Union Town. Took 58 seconds off the clock. Capped off by the play. Grooms. 20-yard touchdown. Get that drive summary brought to you by Bartok Lawn Care. Championship level lawns. Both you got to get him over your house, Brian. Get I, that I, yard for your you dog. Look, if you look at my yard compared to your yard, there's no comparison. Mine looks like the Mojave Desert. Well, that's... Uh, <laughs> Got to get Mr. Yes. Bartok over there. Yes, it's not looking good right now, the summer we've had. Punch a few holes in there, put a little seed, That's some fertilizer. It needs a lot. Yeah. It's an illegal procedure a penalty. The the With 551 line. left here in the fourth quarter. Laurel down. Highland's up 45 to 20. Soup with the money that he got, he should just put AstroTurf in. It would look just as nice as it field out here, and he wouldn't have to take care of it. <laughs> Yeah, Do you know it, anybody around here that has AstroTurf for that? No, I wish I did, though. Yours is probably looking like mine. Clean snap coming back. And that's just an inside run there from Nick Crouch, who came on in mop-up duties, replacing Noah Lyon and Crouch. A nice run there down to the Uniontown 46. Look at this Picking guy coming in, yards. Brian. What's it? It's dark in here. I can't see. 86. He's... Uh, he looks like he's... Uh, That's Joey Geelan. He's 5 feet, 85 pounds. And Geelan getting some action. Good to see. He's split yep. out to the far side. A speedy wide receiver. Yes. Let's see if they had too to many men on the field, I think, right now. They're just going to reposition a couple guys here. Yeah. Triple left set. Clean snap coming back to Crouch. Trying to bounce it out, looking for running room. Tried a little stiff arm there and got brought down at the line of scrimmage. Some heavy contact there from Union Town's Taylor Galloway. Brought down by Galloway. He's second and 10. We're down to 452 wow. left here in regulation. No game Had a few play. plays in a row with no penalties. That's a positive uh, sign. Down Everybody down. just trying to get out of here right now. A lot of still faithful clock. fans here from both teams. Yes. Uh, red Raider, you see a lot of maroon and white for the Red Raiders, and of course the blue and red for the Mustangs. Good sportsmanship on both sides tonight as well. I haven't yeah, seen. I haven't seen any problems no. in the stands. No. Always good to see. They fake the draw, and it's going to be Crouch keeping himself. He kind of got body slammed down, and a Late hit there as well, but not sure if that was just kind of falling forward there from Adam Bram. Ends up going as a loss on the play. Give a little forward progress. Will still be a two-yard loss back to the 48. Loss of two, third down at 12. We go under four minutes left in regulation. Again, had most of the local teams in action. Frazier playing tomorrow. I think they play Brentwood. All the other local teams in action tonight. Don Rebel will pass along all of those scores for you as well. Crouch designed a run here on the right side. Trying to keep going after initially getting popped there and carries the pile close to a first down. Maybe about a yard or two short. Needed to get down to the 36. Well, and they stopped him down there at the 38. I would imagine our post-game show will be a little bit abbreviated tonight since we probably run out of commercials to, to filter yeah, we've in there. We've done pretty good getting the spots in tonight yeah. with all the stops yeah. we've had. Of course, we'll have our first Federal Savings and Loan Association of Green County super play of the game. It's been a tradition here over the last couple of years. Actually started back in the day, Steve. Remember Frank Sato's supermarket, the super play of the game? That's yeah. where the origin started. Great to have our friends at First Federal picking that up after Frank Sato's supermarket closed up a couple of years back. 
And then, of course, our post-game <laughs> stats brought to you by Peach See, and Pharmacy buddy, uh, inside the downtown Connellsville Peach and Market. Our, bro our buddy uh, Brian Ponzorg sent us a funny text. He says, uh, we're not going to be in time for dinner. He goes, but maybe we'll get breakfast. <laughs> <laughs> Fourth and two. We're going to have a stoppage here and a timeout with 2.45 left in regulation. Mustangs 45, Red Raiders 20. We're back at 60 on the CR Product Group High School Sports Night. The Sea Harbor Auto Group is bringing service to your door with the exclusive Sea Harbor Service Valet. Just call to schedule your next service appointment and we'll come pick up your car and drop it off after the work is finished. We'll even wash it for you. Call us today at 724-930-7766 to schedule your next appointment. Pick up and delivery with White Glove Service. Never wait in a service lounge again. Call us today at 724-930-7766. It's just that easy. Uniontown Detailing offers an all-inclusive auto care experience. Services include full auto detailing, professional ceramic coating, window tinting, undercoating, paintless dent repair, and more. Uniontown Detailing has moved to a new location on 255 South Mount Vernon Avenue in Uniontown. Stop by and check them out today. Best of luck this season to all local teams from Uniontown Detailing. 245 left in regulation. Laurel Highlands facing a fourth and two from the Uniontown 38. Crouch design run. He's going to have the Mustang first down and more. Crouch still loose. He'll get down to the 21-yard line to move the sticks. And Steve, you were talking about Pond sending us a message about breakfast. Remember, we were talking a couple years ago to our buddy Harrison over at Potters, and he said he was going to try to find a way to get us breakfast after one of these games. I told him I'd cook pancakes. Yes. We we maybe try to put that back on the table again I, here for I, I can't do a lot, I can tell you. I'm, I'm you know, I'm definitely. Uh, Am I able to bring my own syrup? But, but I can make, I, you know, I can bring, I'll bring make, I'm a really good pancake maker. Okay. I, I, I've uh, studied. Are outside how condiments they, allowed? How, uh, yes, I'll let you bring your own syrup, but I'll bring I'd bring maple syrup, pure maple syrup. Here's Crouch, another run, getting nine, and maybe I, close to a first down. And I know you love your bacon. Yes. You're a big bacon fan. They have, they have the bacon there already because they put them on the yeah. – I get turkey and bacon sandwiches down there, so that's something. I mean, you could probably bring some sausage patties or links too. So that would be a pretty good combination. Now, think about Tony. He's going to have his cold uh, – his cold beverage, beverage you know, yeah. his yellow yellow uh, beverage of beer <laughs> with the pancakes and maple syrup. That'd be a heck of a combination. All right, so I'm sure Harrison has the game on tonight. So if he's listening or watching here late, well, is there a way we can make this happen later in the season? That's, that's all I'm asking. <laughs> <laughs> 90 that seconds Marukas, left. Marukas yeah, probably has a grill who, down there. Whoever wants us, it. It's open for anybody at this point. Maybe we'll do it for charity. We'll make yeah, pancakes. Do something. 90 seconds left. Crouch on the run again inside the 10 down to the 9-yard line. That'll move the sticks again, and Laurel Highlands pretty much could just take a knee from this point out. And they'll knock off Uniontown and continue. Crouch on the carry. They're winning ways in this series as of late. And they'll actually cut Uniontown's all-time lead in the series now to 23-21. to well, look, It's to be the fifth straight win for the Mustangs in the series. Again, Uniontown hasn't won since 2016, but they went three years from 2018 to 2020 without playing in the series. Now we're getting requests, Steve, from listeners. They want to come to this breakfast. Oh, well, there you go. <laughs> so you know what we need to do is we'll make it a charity event. We'll give money away to somebody yeah. some good cause. Uh, we have, you know, we got nine give, weeks give us left some, give us some suggestions. Up, yeah. And uh, I'm telling you, Folks, I can make pancakes. I can make a good pancake. They always do a guest bartender yeah. night. Now we'll have a guest cooking night. With and I don't do a lot pancakes. of fancy, you know, like uh, I'll do blueberries maybe. But I'm not going to put like bananas or chocolate chips. It's going to be a straight <laughs> man's pancake with, with, real a man's maple, pancake. with real maple syrup. That's there all I'm going to tell you. Yeah. 45 to 20. Mustangs knock off the Uniontown. Red Raiders tonight. Again, stay tuned for our post-game show. We'll have our final stats brought to you by Peach and Pharmacy inside the downtown Connellsville Peach and Market. And our play of the game brought to you by First Federal Savings and Loan Association of Greene County. So there, one final knee from Laurel Highlands, and that'll do it. Mustangs improve to 1-0. Red Raiders drop to 0-1. Laurel Highlands knocks off Uniontown 45-20. Back to tell you all about it right after this on WMBS, Tribune High School Sports Network, the South Union Township Sports Network, and Facebook Live.
Are, are you ready to indulge in the best pizza around? Are you looking for a lunch or dinner spot with all your favorite Italian classics coupled with mouth-watering daily specials? Then it's time to visit 2G Brothers Pizza, located at 123 Matthew Drive in Uniontown. Specials and customer favorites include Thursday Sicilian-style pizza and Saturday's chicken parmesan. Call 724-439-5600 today and let 2G Brothers handle the rest. Your taste buds will be glad you did. Just as your local State Farm agent combines good neighbor service with surprisingly great rates, you can combine your home and auto. And guess what you'll get? That's right, good neighbor service with surprisingly great rates. In fact, State Farm agent Lauren Yeoman is your go-to agent in Uniontown for the service you deserve at the price you want. So try to combine home and auto today. State Farm agent Lauren Yeoman will help you mix and match things perfectly. Call 724-592-6308 for your surprisingly great rate. Like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. Hi, I'm attorney Trip Radcliffe of Radcliffe Martin Law. As a senior partner, I've been in the profession for over 40 years. During that time, it's been our privilege to represent clients seriously injured in all types of accidents. We pride ourselves on being able to locate insurance coverage or find claims that others may miss. Give us a call today and let us see if we can help you. Radcliffe Martin Law, 724-439-3939. Peach and Pharmacy here with free prescription delivery. Whether you need your medication right away or next week, Peach and Pharmacy delivers to Uniontown, Connellsville, and all around the area, five days a week. Why wait in line or in traffic? Call, stop in, or go online. Peach and Pharmacy, where prescriptions are delivered free by friendly people. Peach and Pharmacy. Jeffrey Barney here from Wright Honda in Uniontown. Are you looking for a new vehicle but don't want to go through the hassle of the buying experience? Then it's time to visit Wright Honda and ask for me, Jeff Barney, General Sales Manager. I'm ready to assist you with all your new and pre-owned car needs. I'm committed to make sure you get the best deal. Come see me today, Wright Honda, or call me on my cell phone, 724-812-2749. I'm here to help you get in your new car today. WrightHondaCars.com. The UPMC Rehabilitation Institute on Wayland Smith Drive offers cutting-edge physical therapy. Jim Burns and his staff are residents of the community, treating sports injuries, neurological conditions, back pain, sprains and strains, joint replacements, hand injuries, and other conditions. They treat you efficiently and safely by taking all necessary precautions while disinfecting the clinic regularly. All insurance accepted. Experienced therapists. Convenient location and hours. Part of the community. Call the office with a prescription from your doctor or schedule by direct access 724-437-7500. Zen's Antiques and Home Decor, part of the Cinder Shack family of vendors where you can find both antique and new furniture, collectibles, housewares, gift items including jewelry and candles and so much more. Follow Zen's Antiques and Home Decor on Facebook for new items and information on upcoming events throughout the holiday season. Zen's Antiques and Home Decor in Building 2 at 3391 National Pike in Farmington. Zen's Antiques and Home Decor. Our Islands a 45-20 win over the Uniontown Red Raiders tonight. Tony has your final stats. They're brought to you by Peach and Pharmacy inside the downtown Connellsville Peach and Market. All right, Brian, for the Laurel Highlands Mustangs offensively, Noah Lyon was 3 for 7 passing for 88 yards Two touchdowns and one interception. All three catches made by Antoine Black, obviously, for 88 yards. He also had two touchdowns, one of 15 and the other of 55 yards. On the rushing end, Noah Lyon goes over the 100-yard mark, 10 carries, 102 yards. He was followed by Parker Hoff, who had eight carries for 70 yards and a touchdown. Nick Crouch, nine carries for 45 yards coming in and his back up for Noah Lyon. Gio Guerriere, seven carries for 40 yards and two touchdowns. Antoine Black had three carries for 23 yards. And Aiden Bell came in at two carries for two yards. Offensively, the Mustangs, 46 offensive plays. They had 282 yards rushing, 88 yards passing for a total of 370 yards. The bad number for them, 13 penalties, 125 yards. They had 14 first downs, and they only had one turnover, and that being the interception by Noah Lyon in the first half. For the Unitown Red Raiders, Cam Dugan 
was 4 for 10 passing for 67 yards, two touchdowns. Both of those going to Calvin Winfrey, one from 39 yards, the other from 19 yards. One catch by Tory Grooms for 10 yards, and one catch by Michael Thomas for minus one. Two touchdown passes, one interception for Cam Dugan. On the rushing end, Michael Thomas, the leading rusher for the Red Raiders, five carries for 31 yards. He was followed by Tory Grooms, who had six carries for 27 yards and a 20-yard touchdown run. Jamari Walker, eight carries for seven yards. Cam Dugan, eight carries for only one yard. And Nathan Searock, one carry for one yard. Offensively, Red Raiders ran 38 offensive plays. They had 67 yards rushing and 67 yards passing. 134 total offensive yards. 14 penalties for 104 yards. They had seven first downs, and they committed three turnovers, two fumbles, and an interception thrown by Dugan. And one of our biggest plays of the game was a 50-yard hookup from Noah Lyons, Antoine Black on a middle screen in the third quarter, which at the time put Uniontown up 31 to 14 over Laurel or over uh, Union, put Laurel Highlands up, excuse me, 31 to 14 over Uniontown. So this is our super play of the game, brought to you by First Federal Savings and Loan Association of Green County. The line's going to drop back the little middle screen going to Antoine He's Black, gone. and he has running room. Black is gone inside the 30, inside the 25, and Antoine Black is going to house it for 55 yards out for a Mustang touchdown. Don't have to throw it deep when you're going to run like that with Antoine Black. You look at the Laurel Highland side, guys. Black had a great game running the football. I thought Noah Lyon very consistent for the Mustangs as well, and Parker Hoff, too, uh, really carrying the load. And, Steve, you were impressed with Gio Guerriere. Well, yeah, who wouldn't be? I mean, the little guy, just a tough little runner, and he's just, uh, you can see why they're giving him the start, and he's uh, he proved the coach is right. He just, uh, he was very shifty, and uh, when he did get in traffic, he had some power, and uh, he did a good job, a good job of running the football. 45-20, to 20, your final score. Laurel Highlands over Uniontown. Back with a final word for Mustang Field in a moment here on WMBS, Trib Live High School Sports Network, South Union Township Sports Network, and Facebook Live. You can go to Big Box Medical Office. Now serving number 3,943. Or. Hi, come on in. How are you? Feeling? When you see doctors Paul Hartley and Mary Beth Riley, plus nurse practitioners Tara Bozak, Jessica Reckhardt, and Stacey Morris, you get one-on-one -on -one personal professional health care serving the area for over three decades. If you're looking for a primary care doctor, call doctors Hartley and Riley at 724-437-1109 or online at ppcp.org. Or. Serving number 3,943. Looking for a fast, friendly notary service that is open in the evening? Sandy Howell Notary Services, located on Dry Knob Road in Smithfield, is here for your vehicle, boat, motorcycle, ATV registrations and transfers, plate renewals and more. They offer new PA and Maryland plates and West Virginia title applications. They serve Uniontown, Smithfield, Fairchance, and all surrounding areas. Open weekdays 10 to 8.30, Saturdays from 9 to 5. Sandy Howell Notary Services, Dry Knob Road, Smithfield, 724-564-8955. Big enough to serve you, small enough to know you by name. In a world of big corporations and inter personal experiences, there's something truly special about family-owned businesses. For over 70 years, the Mike Kelly Automotive family has been serving the community with integrity, honesty, and a commitment to putting families first. And we're not stopping anytime soon. Our commitment to excellent sales and service remains stronger than ever. Visit us today and experience the Mike Kelly Automotive difference. Because when you buy from us, you buy from family. Guard and other stool or blood screening tests detect cancer, but only colonoscopy can actually prevent colon cancer via detecting and removing precancerous polyps. Having a 30-minute painless colonoscopy every 10 years beginning at age 45 could save your life. Call U.S. Digestive Health at 724-437-7677. Back wrapping things up from Laurel Highlands High School. The Mustangs a 45-20 win over Uniontown. Now turning our attention to next week, the Red Raiders heading home. Their opening game at home this season, the Hall of Fame game, taking on Perry Traditional Academy out of the Pittsburgh City League. We'll have the game on the WMBS Facebook page. We'll also air the Hall of Fame induction ceremony as well. TJ DeStefano and Gary Frankhauser will have the call with Billy Dice behind the camera. Tony and I will head to Mo Rubenstein Stadium in Ambridge for the Mustangs and the Bridgers. Tony looking forward to it already. Josh Kreisig behind the camera. 6 o'clock's Browse Insurance Group pregame show. 7 o'clock 
for the opening kickoff, both on the radio and on Facebook. Should be a lot of fun, Tone. Yeah, looking forward to it, Bray. And Steve, you got the week <laughs> off next week. Yep. What's up with that? Well, just uh, grand babysitting grandkids next well, week. Have fun with that. Enjoy the yeah. family on Labor Day. Probably see you back here in two weeks. Yep. 45-20. to 20, Mustangs win it over the Red Raiders. Trib Live scoreboard show with Don Rebel on the way next. For Tony Hanula and Steve Super, Billy Dice behind the camera. Nick Barczyk back inside our Davis and Davis Attorneys at Law Studios. I'm Brian Morosex. And have yourselves a pleasant good evening. Again, your final score, Laurel Highlands 45 and Uniontown 20. Sorry, everybody.